not. <sighs> wow. Um, <laughs> great. I guess I'm just waiting for people now. Um, yeah. Do you know what? It's always the most awkward at the start of the live stream because there's, there's nobody there and nobody's putting stuff in the comments so I don't really know what to say. Um, I guess I need to make up stuff. Um, oh, hi. Hey bestie, love you. Love you too. Mwah. OMG, hey. Hey. Yeah, as I said, it's kind of the most awkward at the start of the live stream because there's not many people there and I don't really know what to say. Um, and of course, like I always bring the ice cream, but I need to let it defrost, so I can't just like start eating it. Um, so that's great. I, mm. Do you guys think this is the best angle? Let me just... Oh, I think that's better. Or is it? Let me just... I think that's pretty good. No, I need to see my face now. I'm sorry guys, I'm just adjusting this. Oh my god, my face is so red. I just had a shower and I was like blow drying my hair and of course I got like really boiling, so yeah. I have a really good tip for coming out of an eating disorder. You can give the tip if you want. Hi, do you watch the World Cup? You know what, I've never really been a big sports person, so um, I don't really, although I did watch it with my, my friend um, the other day. We were trying to figure out why people were so fascinated in football. It is kind of like a, a bit of a big question for us. Sorry, it's just not something I'm into, but um, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? Hey, I just woke up to this live stream. My day started out right. Oh, that's super cool. Hi, hello. What kind of ice cream today? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I actually did this on my last live stream, but my last live stream was like a while ago because I'm trying to do more non no no let me let me rephrase that i haven't sorry i was reading the comments on the screen and i got a bit distracted anyway um yeah i did this in my last i ate this in my last live stream i haven't although i haven't done a lot i haven't done a live stream in a while because um yeah i just haven't really had as much time um yeah i've been to like parties i've had a lot of sleepovers so that's been great um yeah but anyway yeah the point your your question was what this what was the ice cream so this is chocolatey love affair it is my favorite ice cream of all time and it's super annoying because it's a special a special batch it's pretty much special edition <clears throat> which is so annoying um but this is chocolate ice cream with salted caramel swirls caramel chunks and sea salt chocolatey chunks so that's pretty great love you so much you help me so much i love you too and i'm really glad i could help you because you're putting on weight, which is a good thing at this stage, make sure you don't rip any clothes. Yeah, don't worry. Um, all of my clothes are quite stretchy, so I'm pretty sure they won't rip. <laughs> I'm also now a fan of football, but I don't know. It's hyped that much since I've started liking it a bit. I'm also not a fan of football, but I don't... Oh, not a fan. Yeah. Started liking it a bit. Yeah, I feel like ordinary football I'm not really into but when it's like a big event sometimes I do get a bit swept up into the the excitement of it sometimes um yeah yeah Ben and Jerry's made a caramel ice cream called caramel sutra like caramel sutra yeah they did it, ca ca it was caramel sutra core I've had that one I've made a review of it it was really good um yeah whoa sounds good it is there's a reason why it's my favorite ice cream let me just try and summarize it for you so chocolate ice cream i used to not be a big fan of chocolate ice cream um and i used to think it was like really like too rich which is well because when i was a kid i i thought like anything with flavor was too rich which is kind of weird but um now i've gotten i've gotten into it a lot more now so that's great um so i love salted caramel and this has like a lot of salted caramel elements like the salted caramel swirl um the caramel chunks they're kind of like little mini honeycomb chunks they do provide a bit of texture which is great um and sea salt chocolatey chunks oh my god the chocolatey chunks with sea salt in them 
they're the best thing in the world. Um, they're normal chocolate, but just salted. It's great. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love vanilla. Blah, blah. I love vanilla ice cream with Bailey's on top. You should try that. Oh my god. You know what? I didn't. I've never actually had like proper alcohol until I went to a party last Saturday um, for my friend's birthday, and well, basically my girlfriend's birthday. But I tried Bailey's, and it was like, what? What is this madness? It was like creamy and chocolatey, but like alcoholy, and it was like crazy. I don't know how people make. I wow. Well, you know. Wow. Uh, that was crazy. I got to go love you so much. Bye. Mwah, love you too. But like vanilla ice cream with Bailey's on top. That actually sounds really good. Do you know what? We went to a restaurant a little while ago when we were in Madeira and like, you know, like those palate refreshers they have like in between each course. Well, they had one that was like lemon sorbet and they like spritzed a bit of vodka on top. So just like ice cream or sorbet and alcohol go well together. Cause apparently it does. Well, I mean, it seems to go well together. A lot of people have recommended me stuff with the two on them. So that's great. Have you tried Ben and Jerry's chocolate therapy ice cream? No, I haven't. They don't sell that in the UK. Do you know how, do you know how frustrating it's, it is to hear people give me all these recommendations like the tonight dough or like the topped ice creams and not be able to have them? Cause they're, they're all, they're just not here. They're not in the UK. They're not sold in the UK. It's it's heartbreaking because I really want to try them, but I can't try them because I'd have to go to a different country to try them. So that's great. Sorry, that was a really long-winded answer to your question. Um, have you tried Ben and Jerry's chocolate therapy ice cream? No, I have not. Um, obviously, I would like to, um, but I I haven't. So yeah. I'm kind of get, I'm trying to get this to defrost because it's like, oh, wait, I can tell whether it's defrosted or not by how it feels. I think it's nearly there. It's like maybe five minutes away. Um, yeah. Do you know what's really funny? I always tell myself at the start of streams, like, this is only going to be one hour. This is only going to be like half an hour. But then it always ends up being like three hours long. Then I get up and I need to go to the toilet and I need to do all this stuff. And I've just been like on a live for three hours. I don't really mind it, to be fair. I love spending time on lives, like just chatting with people on the internet. That's such a chronically online thing to say. But I just, it's it's so fun, you know. Hey, hey, um, Mary. I'm joining you eating my toast and chocolate spread and you make me feel happier. Oh, that's so great. I like toast and chocolate spread. I haven't had it in a while though. Do you know what I've been really craving recently? Biscoff and chocolate. No, not Biscoff and chocolate spread. Biscoff on toast. Except for the fact that I don't have any Biscoff. And every single time I go to a shop, it was like this one time. Do you know what? Completely off track. Um, I kept on trying to go to the shops to buy cocoa powder for like my oats and stuff. And every single time... I just forget about it and that went on for like a month and I didn't have cocoa powder for a month um, until I finally bought some like a little while ago. Um. Oh yeah that's that's what sorry back on track that is what happened that is what is happening with Biscoff with me at the moment because I keep on going to the shops we need to buy Biscoff and I never buy Biscoff. Yeah also I'm really glad that I make you feel happier um Mary. If I pronounce things wrong just polite me Politely correct me in the comments. The flying nugget. Oh my god, I love your username. Hey, do you have any tips on mindset and recovery? In what what aspects of mindset do you mean? Sorry, sometimes I really need things to be narrowed down for me because I my brain it needs a bit of focus, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Um hi, how do you deal with guilt after challenging fear foods? Because I try to eat fear foods, but I feel so guilty after eating fear foods, so I have to stop eating them now. Okay, yeah, so the thing is for me, I never actually felt guilty after eating fair foods, or at least I didn't for like a good year in recovery. And it's only started happening recently, which is kind of weird because, you know, you'd think later on in recovery you'd feel less guilt, but it started happening more now. But um, honestly, I actually got this question um, on TikTok a little while ago and I made a video dedicated to it. So let me just try and give a short little explanation. So um, what I do is, especially if like, well, first first of all, like distractions like Netflix, uh, which is my favourite distraction. Um, Currently into Shira, by the way. Um, what shows are you watching on Netflix? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, like distractions, like you know, watching stuff, playing stuff, maybe board games, card games, spending time with your family, friends. Um, 
um, if those don't work, what I, what I, this is going to sound so, so weird, but I, I sit with the guilt and like, let it pass. Like think, you know, go through that kind of like mindset thing where you kind of like try and reduce all the reasons why you feel guilty, like down. And it, like nine times out of 10, it's, it's just your eating disorder, trying to take control of your head again. Um, and it's really, there, there really is like no reason to feel the guilt. If you get what I mean, like you haven't done anything wrong, like morally. So why should you feel guilt? Um, yeah. I guess what helps me is just sitting there with the guilt, letting the feelings pass and like thinking through in my head, like there's no logical reason to feel guilty. Um, obviously that's just what I do though. And everybody finds different things helpful. This is so cool watching you live. I always watch your shorts, you're so inspiring. Oh, thank you. That's a, that means a lot. How long have you been in recovery for? Okay, so. Um, so. So. So it's, it's always kind of like hard for me to Think about the timeline so when i was 12 and then started recovering then that was the dip and then um okay so i've been recovering for about a year but that was mostly quasi recovering i think it's only the past three months when i fully like kind of committed myself if that makes sense um so to answer your question basically the past three months yeah so how do you stay on track in recovery? Because I'm really struggling with that voice telling me to gain control again. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> um, on track, I think you, you it's this is gonna sound so low. And this is really gonna sound like okay, so a lot of my advice I feel like sounds like somebody who doesn't have an eating disorder trying to tell somebody with an eating disorder, like advice. But this 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 might sound bad, but um a lot of the time you really have to keep doing what you're doing, like re-challenging foods. Rechallenging fear foods is such a big one for me, or like re-challenging habits that your eating disorder um has maybe ingrained into your mind um uh, of course your eating disorder makes you think that you're in control when in reality you're out of control like oh my god i forgot i was wearing that i'm <laughs> sorry um when i well when you're oh god i can't speak when you're actually out of control um i mean you're i mean i'm not gonna lie in the depths of my eating disorder like doing my like tracking my calories three days in advance that's just mental instability really now that sounds so rude sorry i'm really sh shaky and nervous right now i can't think straight for some reason um so if i if i sound weird just ignore me sometimes i need to think about stuff before i before my brain computes and i have an answer um as i said like your eating disorder gives you a false sense of control but it's i mean it's it's the eating disorder that has the control not you you know like this is so oh god this is you guys have really good questions which is great because they give me stuff to think about but they also give me things to think about which means i need to spend a bit of time thinking about them so i'm really sorry if i like randomly think about something like in the middle of a next question and then i'm like oh to answer the last question sorry I'm, I'm all over the place um you know what i have relapse urges every morning like i wake up and i'm sit and i say i'm gonna restrict today i'm not gonna do it i'm i'm just not gonna recover but then i always end up not because i guess i always have this like list in my head to go through um that kind of reassures me that re recovery is the right choice like for example i want to be able to eat my parents and my grandparents cooking um, i want to be able to go to my friends houses um and like eat their parents cooking without being like oh no what are the calories in this oh my god i don't want to fish around in the bin for like the packages of you know for the nutritional information i want to i, I want to get my i want to get my period i want to improve my bone density because that's absolute sh not very good at the moment um i want to be able to move again you know without it being disordered like i went through some really severe exercise addiction and i want to be able to do that again not exercise addiction exercise again without it being disordered um and i want to be able to move without it you know having a detriment on my body um and i definitely definitely i mean i know i'm already 16 but if there's a chance that i could grow just a little bit more again Maybe with the maybe with the proper nutrition, maybe I I just kind of want to grow just like maybe just a little bit higher, you know, just a little bit. Yeah. Wait, what? Anorexia affects your period cycle? Yeah, it can for a lot of people. Not everybody, but for a lot of people, it can because obviously, if your body's not getting enough food, it's like oh my god, periods, are like fertility isn't really necessary to like keep your body alive so they so your body might stop having periods if that makes sense um 
that's what's happening to me, like primary amenorrhea. I never, I've never gotten it um, when I should have gotten it. Genetically, my family usually gets it quite early on, so I should have gotten it a while back, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but a lot of people lose their periods, and that's when they, um, and that's when people know um, that it's definitely affected your fertility. And for some people, it's actually like an, it's actually irreversible damage, and a lot of people can't get their periods back at all, or they can't, or they're like permanently infertile, or their bone density, like mine, basically. Oh my god, I can't explain things. Um, when you don't have your period, obviously, um, your body produces less estrogen, and estrogen maintain helps maintain your bone density, and that can have a negative effect on your bones. But yeah, um, yet another long-winded explanation to your question, anorexia affects your period cycle? It does. Well, it can. Not everybody, not everybody's period is affected, but it can affect a lot of people's. Love your videos. I love you too, Greta Greenfield. How do you have such a nice figure coming out of an eating disorder? I'm just amazing, you know, I'm just so beautiful and awesome. No, I don't really think, I think, um, I don't know. I'm not fully weight restored yet, by the way, so there's that. Oh my god, I think the ice cream's defrosted, guys. I'm gonna eat this now. Why is this so hard to get into? Oh my god. Oh, you London, yeah? Yeah, from yeah, London. No, I'm not, but um, sometimes I say I am just because I, I think it's funny to say I'm from London. Um, I'm not from London, but... Yeah, I went to London recently to watch a play. It was Back to the Future. And um, we got front row seats. And if I ignore how noisy it was, like, oh my God, the noise levels, crazy. So loud. It was actually a really great production. Man's Chev, you up, mate, Wagwan. Wow, that's that's definitely what everybody in London says. Oh my God, just look how beautiful it looks. You know, I love ice cream when it's like naturally defrosted. And when I say naturally defrosted, I mean like when it hasn't been in the micro in the microwave because usually I defrost mine in the microwave if I don't have enough time to let it naturally defrost but that just means the outside gets really melty and the inside's still really solid but um when it naturally defrosts it's like softer throughout it's just such a more satisfying texture make the amount of chavs in my school you know what i'm talking about most of the chavs in my school are in year nine the rest of the years are pretty normal that ice cream looks so good omg it's my favorite ice cream of course it's good it's amazing it's so good if you guys have access to it i highly recommend you try it now i'm craving ice cream do you know what guys it's kind of a risk to go on my lives and not eat ice cream with me you're gonna crave it i'm sorry How do they wear that much fake tan in a mirror? The more you wake, sorry, the more you wear fake tan, the more, the more tan your body absorbs, so you have to put more on it. You know, it gets to the point where you might wear an entire bottle of fake tan and your body just absorbs it all. Your organs turn orange. I love watching the year nine chavs run around with their hoops bigger than their face. They look so funny. I think they're kind of cute though, because it's like, ah. Those little kids, they think they've figured their place out. They think they've figured out their place in the world, but it's like, or their identity in the world. And it's kind of like, <laughs> it's naive. They're so young. Hey, I'm the weird person in your comment section that loves white chocolate, but I really love your videos. I've just been admitted to a hospital and your videos help me recover a lot. Do you know what? You're not weird. Um, You're not weird for loving white chocolate. You're not weird at all. In fact... I don't know why I said that, you know, weird isn't a negative adjective. You're great. I really love your videos. I love you too. I've just been admitted to the hospital and your videos have recovered a lot. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I really hope that your hospital um, admission is really helpful to you. It's really helpful for you. And I'm really glad that I can help you. You don't vape, right? No, I don't vape. Um, how to deal with guilt. Um, yeah, this has already been asked, but basically 
distract yourself like with netflix or spending time with family and friends like go for a little walk or something um or if that doesn't work just try and sit with the guilt and let your i just like try and process your feelings you know um sometimes it helps me to like think through why i'm feeling the guilt and nine times out of ten there is no reason for me to be feeling the guilt and it's just it is really just um the eating disorder trying to take over your head again right like For, ex for an example, like, I might eat this ice cream tub, I might feel guilty afterwards, there's no logical reason for me to feel guilty afterwards though because I haven't done anything morally wrong. I've just eaten ice cream, you know? Which is so delicious. Some of the year nines are so sweet though. I love chatting with some of them. P.S. I love white chocolate so much. Yeah, I, um, I'm doing community service and I'm helping out in um, English classes. And there's this one year nine class, which is so nice. Like, it's split down the middle though. I was like, really shy people, but they're like really nice. And they're like really... extroverted um slightly um less nice people white chocolate mid to be honest you know you have your opinion we'll have ours do you know how to stop over exercising the thing is with like over exercising like a lot of things in recovery you just have to force yourself to do like with over exercising do you know actually i was kind of lucky because at the height of my over exercising i got covid and like i could not move like i felt just so terrible i could not move and that really stopped me from over exercising and that that kind of like helped me get a bit of momentum to stop over exercising and that was great um but sometimes you really do have to force yourself to stop doing something like even if it means like you need to ask somebody to, to keep you accountable like if you need I know a family member or a friend to say do not exercise or like are you sure that isn't over exercising or you know some, something along those lines um sometimes that could be really helpful arrow hits different mint arrow i haven't had a mint arrow before probably should hey how are you i'm great thanks how are you Layla? You haven't lived properly. No, it's funny because I had a caramel, a caramel um, arrow, a caramel arrow bar not too long ago, but I've never had the OG. Do you know what? I'm assuming the OG is mint arrow because I feel like that's way more popular than plain arrow, but it might not be the OG. I don't actually know. I've never eaten arrow. I want to try it so much. It's actually like a really cool texture. It's really fun. You're a strong person. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. If you think about food, is that mental hunger? What type of thinking about food? Because um, if it's before a meal time, or if you're thinking about, you know, like what you're gonna have for dinner, like right before you have it, sometimes that's not mental hunger. Um, sometimes um, you need to you need to think about food, especially if you're like food shopping or thinking about food shopping. But um, if you're like constantly thinking about food all day, like thinking like almost fantasizing about food, like what food you want to have, um, what food you can't, like especially food you won't let yourself have, that's definitely a, a sign of mental hunger. Girl, go get a mint error or I will burn all of your left socks. Do you know what? I can live without my left socks, but I will probably get one soon. Warning though, I don't like mint stuff. The last mint thing I had just did not taste good, but I'm always willing to give things a try. Mint arrows are so good. They are my favourite mint thing. That's kind of cool. Do you know it's funny how like I've rarely had any, I've barely had any mint flavoured things and then people are like, this is my favourite mint flavoured thing. Like you've tried many different mint things. That's your favourite out of all of them, but I've hardly tried any mint things. This is my sign to try more, to try mint things. Why can't I speak? We can never speak on lives. So it's kind of embarrassing. Come up north, have a deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> Maybe I will. Do you know what? They sound good. Can everybody just put your opinions on deep fried air bars? De oh my god, I can't speak. 
deep fried Mars bars in the comments. What do you think it's going to be like? Because I kind of want to try one, but at the same time, I kind of feel like it'll be too, too much, if you get what I mean. Like, too much, too much flavour, too much, I don't know. The Scots are coming. Is that a threat? <laughs> I'm joking. What are some of your favourite cuisines that you've tried? Mm. I, oh, I don't know. Do you know what? I really liked most pasta things. Oh, when I went to Portugal, um, they had these like specific type of breads that they usually make to mix it. I don't know. I found the bread really tasty. Um, oh my God. And the Portuguese custard tarts. I don't know how they're pronounced, like pastel de nata, but they, they are so good. I kind of want to say Portuguese just for the Portuguese pastries. Absolute rank. Is that your opinion on the on the deep fried Mars bars? <laughs> oh, flower of Scotland or flower of Scotland. Oh my god, that was so rude of me. Do you have any tips to start recovery? Restricting has been too stressful for me to the point that I've been thinking of only food every day, but I can't stop doing it. Yeah, I think um, the start of recovery for me personally was probably the hardest because it was like trying to learn what I need to do um, and how to do it. It was almost like. It is kind of like learning how to eat again, like a normal person, if you get what I mean. Um, if you have, if you have like access, I would definitely recommend like working with a professional, like a dietitian or a therapist, um, or even a doctor could be quite helpful just for like nutritional guidance. But definitely a therapist who can help you um, recognize and work through eat, um, disordered behaviors. So, what I would do is personally make a list. First of all, of all your motivations to recover, and make them sustainable, right? Like, um, yeah, to be able to, like, enjoy other people's cooking, to be able to do stuff without worrying about food, to be able to spend time with friends. Like, I went to a party recently, and I drank alcohol, and I ate pizza, and I had cake, and it was, like, crazy, because I never would have let myself do that before recovery. Crazy! And I had the best night of my life, like, that was probably the best night of my life. It was crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Um, tips to start recovery. So yeah, make a list of all the motivations or like reasons you want to recover. Um, make a list of all the, um, if you do have any, make a list of all of the habits, the disordered habits or rituals or even the foods that you um, don't let yourself have or restrict. Um, all of those type of habits. Um, and I would say work through them gradually. Um, if you need support, definitely ask like a, a supportive family member or a friend. Or as I said at the start, like uh, a professional like a therapist or a dietitian um what's your favorite flavor of ice cream from ben and jerry's this one oh my god i'm not showing it this one because it's just the best ice cream like there is no reason why it's so good it's just salted caramelly chocolatey beautiful <laughs> i love your top omg thank you it's uh it's got butterflies on it <laughs> What's your favourite food? Ice cream. Don't know why it took me so long to think that. Ice cream. Although at the moment I do get like really specific cravings for filled pasta, but we rarely get it because my mum's always like, we had that last week, we had that last week, but we didn't have it last week. We had it the week before last. Um, yeah. OMG, yes, we have um, a Portuguese bakery here and OMG, they have such good breads and pastries. I know, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a bold statement here. They rival French pastries. I said it. <laughs> Have you tried the new golden Toblerone? I haven't. Quick question: to Toblerone has almonds in it, right? Does all Toblerone have almonds in it? Just just to check. Now, mate, rum and raisin is so good. Like for real, try it, or I'll burn a randomized left part of your clothing. Oh, you're gonna have to burn a left part of my clothing. Clothing. I hate raisins. I'm sorry. Raisins are just the worst type of thing. I'm sorry, I hate raisins. Spinning the random clothes wheel, burning all of your left gloves. Oh, that's all right. I only had like two pairs of gloves. 
these lives should just be called fangirling over chocolatey love affair at this point no they should because i feel like because this is limited edition i'm just gonna eat them all the time and i don't oops i don't think i'm ever gonna get bored of these because they're so good hi hi the little panda hello Yes, other person with an almond al allergy. I know Toblerone has almond. I don't like almonds. I'm sorry. I just, you know what? Ever since I forced myself to eat them because I thought they were really healthy, I've never been able to look at them again. I can't look at an almond and think, I want that. Or even like a roasted almond or like a caramelized almond. I can't look at any type of almond because oh, they just make me shiver. For real, eat as many as you want. Preach. What's a food you used to eat in your childhood that makes you happy? That makes you happy. Um, do you know what? Do you know what's really funny? I can't think about. I can't remember any type of food I used to eat in my childhood. Because I was considering doing like, and eating what I'd eaten, doing what I eat in a day, but like what I'd eat as a child. But I, I couldn't remember anything that I used to eat as a child. And I asked my mum, and she was like, I can't really remember. So my childhood diet is just a mystery. Me neither, LMAO. Well, that's good then. It's good if you're allergic to something and you don't like it. I have an almond allergy too, lol. Oh. <laughs> good, almonds suck. I'm sorry if you like almonds, but it's just the harsh truth and you need to hear it. I've never had that flavour of ice cream. If you do have access to it, I highly recommend it. It's my favourite, it is my favourite ice cream. Would you ever consider posting a cover of a song in the future if you felt comfortable? Do you know what? I'd have to start practising singing again because I haven't practised in over a year. I think it was, no, I think it was mid lockdown when I actually stopped taking singing lessons. So it's been quite a while. Percy pig ice cream. Where'd you get that from? Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? You can get Percy pig ice cream? That's kind of a, it's kind of a revelation. I cannot lie. Uh, my hair. Ah, no. I need to show my little earring. This isn't a real earring, by the way. This is like a, one of those fake ones that my, that my little girlfriend left me. Well, she didn't leave it. She gave it. To me. I have to go now. I am at a boarding school and I have to hand in all devices now. Okay, bye, and Mary. Have a nice time at boarding school. Almonds are to die for. Oh. Is that because you have an almond allergy? <laughs> took me a while to come. Took my brain a while to like. Compute. <laughs> Where do you find your courage? I'm afraid to eat. I find my courage from my hunger and just being so fed up with restriction that I kind of, I kind of have to at this point. Genuinely make a list of all the reasons why you want to recover, like all your motivation and like look at that every time you, you feel like restricting and just like go through it and be like, I'm do I'm eating this so I can do this. Or like I'm eating this for this. Like this is going to sound like really crappy advice. This is going to sound like advice coming from somebody who doesn't have an eating disorder. This is going to sound like advice from like a really uneducated person trying to give somebody with an eating disorder advice. But I'm trying, guys. I swear I'm trying. You're actually so funny. I love your humour. Oh, thank you, Lila. I love you too. Oh, wait, you didn't say I love you. Sorry. You're actually funny too. God, I, I suck at this. Only the British know what a Percy Pig is. Guys, if you don't know, it's like a little gummy-ish sweet. It's like in the shape of a pig's face, with like little ears. So cute. You're a really good YouTuber, I love watching you. Oh, thank you. Please tell me you like mashed potatoes. I'm sorry, I hate mashed potatoes. 
I hate the texture and the taste. <laughs> Sorry. Mashed potatoes are amazing. You have your opinion and I have mine. Lol, I do in fact love you. Oh, that's good. So I can say it. I love you too. Right, I might be being controversial, but Percy pigs are awful. You know, I have, I am, I am in neutral ground with Percy pigs. I haven't had them in a while, but the last time I had them, they were like, okay. Do you have an advent calendar this year? Funny thing, my mum said she got me an advent calendar. Um, and then this morning it was, she showed me it and it was, it was like, you know, one of those like almost Christian-y, not christian -y, that sounds weird. Like, um, it was basically one of those paper ones, but you had like little things that you, little paper things that you stick in there. Yeah, it was a paper one and she did get us bags of chocolate, but I ate the bag of chocolate. So now I don't have any for, oops, so I don't have any for the rest of Advent. So I went to Sainsbury's today and I bought myself, you know, one of those 24 packs of Forever Rochers. And now I have 24 of those for 24 days. <laughs> What's your top five favourite chocolate bars? I don't have, oh, I haven't made a top five. I can't think of any chocolate bars at the moment, but my favourite chocolate bar. Mm, actually, I don't know. I really like caramel milk. That's all I can say at the moment. <laughs> American here, what is a Percy Pig? I've, okay, so it's like, it's seriously just like a kind of gummy, jellyish looking pig face with like little ears and like a little snout and little eyes. It's just a pig face sh shaped gummy thing. I got to go now. I love you. I love you too. The flying nugget. I love your username so much. It's actually a beautiful username. Do you know what's funny? On lives, on lives I always think, wow, this ice cream is melting so much faster than usual. And it's not melting so much faster than usual. It's just because I'm spending so much time talking that it's just, it melts. I have to go, sorry. It's all right, goodbye, the little panda. You should try Freya chocolate. Is that how it's pronounced? Um, it's the best Norwegian chocolate. S sorry, Stratos is a close second. I've never heard of either of those. Do you think I could get them off like Amazon or something? I don't know. What type of chocolate do they do? Favourite sweet. Do you guys think of chocolate as sweet? Not as sweet as like sweets. I consider chocolate as sweets. Wait, no. I don't know. No, I would actually. Chocolate. My favourite sweet is chocolate. I have to go shower. I hope you catch your. I hope to catch your next live. Okay, bye, Lila. Mwah. I was in semi recovery for a while, but now I finally have a reason um, more to recover because I've finally been diagnosed with epilepsy. And not eating could make me pass out. I hate having having it, but that basically forced me to recover. Oh my god, yeah. Do you know what? I was this close to relapsing recently. Um, and then I heard, apparently I've got osteopenia and now like, I, I can't, like there's that thing's just stopping me. <sighs> I mean, even if I didn't have it, I wouldn't relapse to be fair, cause I've got too much to live for now, but I was, I was considering it, but that just like completely turned me off it, you know? Did you get an advent calendar? Yeah, I got, well, it's not a proper Advent calendar, but I do have one of those 24 packs of Ferrero Rochers and I'm just going to have one of those a day. They do milk and dark chocolate with tons of flavours. I think you can find them in Norway, Sweden and some other stores in Europe. That's kind of cool. Tons of flavours. The thing is, I love plain chocolate, but when it's got like different flavours in it, oh, that is the good stuff.
you know what else is funny? I don't eat ice cream. Do you know what? Oh my god, I have a few things to talk about that I kind of want to. Yeah, I have a few things that I kind that I kind of want to talk about. The first thing is when I even when I was younger, I would always like dissect my food. Not dissect my food. Like pull it apart in like weird ways. Like with like with ice cream, I would always like eat the little cookie dough bits or like the whatever's last. So I would like eat the ice cream first because like the cookie dough bits are the best bit, right? Like sure, the ice cream's amazing, but the cookie dough bits are the best bit. And I was all, I would I would always eat that last. And recently, I was talking with my therapist about what's an eating disorder behavior and what's not. And she said that like if it was done in childhood, it's most likely not an eating disorder behavior. And I was just thinking like, is me saving the best bit till last? An eating disorder behavior and i feel like a lot of people do consider it an eating disorder behavior but i don't because i've done it since i was a childhood you know i'm pretty sure like a lot of people have done that like most people will like save the best bit to last but i also feel like a lot of other people say that it's an eating disorder, disorder behavior but i really don't think it is yeah just wanted to get that out <laughs> what subjects do you study so i'm doing a levels at the moment basically an equivalent to college um i'm doing geography maths and physics it always takes me so long to think about those subjects yeah geography maths and physics what are you guys studying if you're studying anything at all Yes, I've done it since my childhood too. It's the best way to eat stuff, you know. You've got to save the best bit to last. It's just so much more satisfying when the last bite's just really... It's like an explosion of deliciousness, you know. It's just way better that way. Oh, bestie how i'm just super amazing maths and physics do you know what's funny i actually i got nines in english i got nines well so at gcse level i've got nines in all my humanities like english well not all my humanities but in a lot of my humanities like english literature english language history classical civilization stuff like that and all the sciences um i got nines in that like i lost three marks on my english literature exam three it was like 227 out of 230 or whatever um but i scored my lowest in maths not in yeah in maths and geography i got eights in maths and geography i got my lowest in those and yet i still chose those do you see how smart i am guys how smart i am <laughs> i honestly find that it's the opposite and that i would eat the best first um so that if i was full or restricting then i eat what i um actually like that's what i do you know what it was actually really funny because when I was in the, like, when, when my eating sort of was its worst, I would do that too because I would find that, like, in fact, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do that. I would only eat the best bit. Like, I wouldn't eat the other bit, if that makes sense. Like, if I were to have, um, do you know what? I can't even think of an example, but yeah. Three, girl, you're insane. It's um not like a university course, if that makes sense. It's like an A-level course, so it's. I'm, I mean, I'm 16, so I'm, I can study three because, um, that, it, 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 I don't know how to explain. I do biology at sixth form and it's the death of me. Oh my God. All my friends have said that they'd rather die than take biology again. I actually just started my first time at uni and my first set of finals are approaching. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm taking biology, sociology, a music course and English. That's a lot of stuff. How are you managing? Like, are you okay? Are your stress levels fine? <laughs> oh no, I mean only three marks off LMO. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny because English has always been my strong suit, but um, I didn't pick it for a level. There I was thinking I was making a great decision. Like I'm not gonna take English that's not going to take me to any crazy careers and then here i am taking maths and geography <laughs> what can i even be with 
physics, maths and geography as like a... I don't even know what I'm going to take at university level. I don't even know what university I'm going to go to. I was thinking Exeter and like I was thinking like maybe geography, but I don't know like what careers will that even offer. That GCSE English literature killed me off. Oh, I'm sorry, random person. GCSE lit is actually terrifying. And it was actually really intimidating going in. I didn't even finish my um, an inspector calls essay. And that's where I think I lost marks because I didn't conclude it. Environmental engineer. You know, I've heard that. Environmental engineer. Um, I was I was like really heavily considering that. And I was like, you know, it's kind of hard because I really want to do something I'm passionate about. But I want to get, I want to be rich, you know. I mean, everybody wants to be rich. But like, I, I really want to be rich. But I can't, I probably won't be able to be rich. But, you know. I like to dream, but yeah, environmental engineer. Yes, the English Lit GCSE, what book did you do? I did of Mice and Men and it was hell. So the three that I did was An Inspector Calls by J.B. Priestley, A Christmas Carol, and Macbeth, yeah, those three. My sister is at Exeter, she loves it. Oh, that's really cool. I think, you know, I think two of my friends, I think my cousin and my friends said that they were going to go to Exeter too, and that just makes me want to go even more. I hate eating chocolate ice cream on camera because it gets all over my face. Don't get me started on Macbeth and my own. You know, my favourite my favorite text was um, An Inspector Calls because it was in like modern day language, but A Christmas Carol was kind of like just about understandable, but Macbeth, oh my God. Like it was like every single line was a metaphor that you had to interpret in a certain way. Wait, so for real, so you for real don't like mashed? No, I don't like mashed potatoes. I do not like mashed potatoes. I don't like, I just don't like them. Lauren. English literature is better than English language. Hmm. I don't think I personally agree with that. I think I found English language. You know, I say I find it. We didn't actually get our English like. I can't speak. We didn't actually get our English language results back. Like, as in, one hundred and whatever out of whatever. But um, I think I I feel like I did better in it, but I'm not sure. But I do think I found it easier than English literature. Burning a random left side of clothing. First option was weird, so we ain't doing that. Burning the left side of my hat. Ha, I don't wear hats. Take that, you're burning nothing. I hope you're hungry for nothing. English language section A is just English literature in disguise. Do you know what? Basically is. This is what you get for not liking MASH. I get nothing because I don't have hats. So, loophole. I'm not affected. What's there to like about MASH? Shake my head. Exactly. It's just mashed up potatoes. The texture is horrible. The flavour is just not there. There really isn't any flavour. It's just not good.
burns down half of your jumpers. No, not the jumpers. I was like, <laughs> I'm dependent on that at the moment. It's winter. At this school talk reminds me, I should probably work on a research paper. I have to do tomorrow. Wishing you a lovely rest of your day. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> You know nothing. I do. I know that your username on um YouTube is Bangle. What did you do at GCSE? Okay, so taking away the obvious, English literature, English language, um, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, and then I chose French as a language, religious studies, history, Geography. Uh, one more. Did I say classical civilization? I don't think I did. That was an extra option that we could have chosen and I did choose it. Um, I got a nine in it, by the way, and I thought I was going to get a six. So that's great. No, it was a... It was a reference. Oh, trust me to get a reference. No, I don't get references. Sorry. History was the death of me. Oh my God, there was so much volume to learn. I don't know what we would have done if I had to learn about the Elizabethan period because that was cut out due to COVID. But I was dying. I had like this pile of flashcard per topic and there were, th there were three topics. Oh, I was pacing up and down every morning, learning my flashcards with all this adrenaline in my, in my body. Like I'm going to learn these and just learn all this stuff. And it was, oh, history was just. I'm coming on here to ask for help with an eating disorder, if that's okay, can I ask questions like that? Of course, go ahead, seriously. I will try my best to answer them, but I'm probably... Well, the thing is, I'm on a live, sometimes I need a bit of time to think about how to answer a question, but I'll try my best to give an answer, if you, if you know what I mean. Which topics did you do in history? I did um, crime and punishment as like a period study. Like a period depth study. Um, oh, I did the Cold War. And I did Weimar and Nazi Germany. If you haven't watched GOT, what does that stand for? It sounds very familiar. We had to do Elizabethan. Ugh, gross. What the flip? Ugh. I'm going to... <coughs> gross <laughs> sorry i loved history you know i like learning about it but i hated revising for it i would rather run a marathon than ever revise for history again it was so horrible elizabethan era sucks though this person knows it I love the Nazi Germany topic so much. I think my favourite was actually Crime and Punishment because I was just good at it. Oh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, I've never watched Game of Thrones. I haven't watched a lot of stuff. I haven't watched Friends. I haven't watched Game of Thrones. You know, name a classic TV show and I probably haven't watched it. I feel like I'm either restricting myself too much or I'm eating too much. But I don't know if that's just my mind or if I'm actually eating too much. It's not binging, it's just me eating what I want, but I feel like it's too much, I don't even know. Ah, that is a kind of a mentally draining situation. Personally, I'd much rather eat more than not eat enough, if that makes sense, because I feel like at least then I'm giving my body stuff. At least I'm giving my body stuff to fuel itself with and stuff to like rebuild all the damage that I've done with um as somebody in my situation who has got damage because of an eating disorder <clears throat> sorry i can't speak at the moment and i don't know why it's just i never be i can't speak when i'm on lives it's kind of stressful um
a lot of the time I feel like you have to rationalise how much you're eating. Like, do you know what? A lot of the times, even nowadays, sometimes I think, oh my God, I'm eating so much. And then I speak to my dietitian about it and she's like, that's actually not much. Um, mm -hmm. Well, like when I compare it to what my family's eating or like my friends, it's like, oh, it's not actually that much. Um, I don't know. That's actually kind of a tricky question. I might have to think about that. Sometimes I do need to think about something and then like half an hour later, I'll be like, oh my God, here's the answer. So I'm really sorry if I can't give you an answer right now, but I will think about it. Have you seen Wednesday? No, it's on my watch later list. I'm getting through she at the moment. I think I'm on like the last the last season, but after I've watched that, I, um, I'm actually going to think, yeah, I'm actually going to watch it. History is literally my favourite subject to study for. You know what? I stand by what I say. I stand by what I say. The wheel is spinning. Random clothes burn and generated websites loading. It says, burn half a pair of Lulu lemons. Is that the brand? Is Oh, that's the brand where usually you get like leggings, right? Don't own any of those. Have you been with cams? Yeah, I have. I appreciate that so much. It feels great to actually talk with someone um, who about, sorry, about it with someone who's also going through it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's really nice to talk about somebody who kind of understands a bit more, or I guess like can relate a bit more to you. That's what you get for not watching Game of Thrones. Well, when, I mean, <laughs> don't really have anything to say in response to that. Somebody said something really nice to me recently. Um, my my beautiful wifey. She said to me that sometimes she puts my lives on, like as background noise when she's like doing stuff. And it's like nice. And that made me feel really happy. That made me feel really appreciated. I love my supportive wifeys. Oh no. Do you know, I was just I just remembered. I was just thinking then, oh my god, I've got homework doing tomorrow. And then I remembered. It's due next week's Friday, not tomorrow Friday. What is your Spotify rap like? Do you know what? I'm going to play it for you right now on my phone. Just for you guys. I can't tell.
God, sorry if that was really loud um <laughs> yeah that's that was my spotify wrapped hmm. <laughs> you have to burn half the lulu lemon factories maybe i will every time you get a question wrong you do truth or dare let's try that yeah I fell in love with a what? Oh my god. So that was my Spotify wrapped. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You do realise that in showing you that, I've just basically I've shown you my mental state, I've shown you my my I've shown you my deepest, I've shown you my soul, guys. Who's better? Bill or Ted? Bill or Ted who? Oh no, these questions are hard. I don't know. I don't like these questions already. I need more information in the questions. Who's Bill? Who's Ted? What have they, what have they done? What will they do? Who are they? What do they look like? OMG, your music taste is sick. It is. Did I already read that out? Even if I did, it is sick. I am such a cool person. I am, my music taste, it's not just sick, it is immaculate. Question two, what is the happiest country? Um, whatever country I'm in, because I feel like my presence just brings joy to people. I don't know. If I had to guess, oh, yeah, I'd probably guess Norway. Finland. Oh. Ooh, close. Geographically close. Truth or dare? Um, truth, because I feel a bit lazy at the moment. But you know, once I finish my ice cream, I might pick death. Most embarrassing thing that's happened to me. Oh, whenever people ask me this, it's such a hard question because I can't remember anything embarrassing that happened to me. Um. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Um. Something that did happen pretty recently that was embarrassing though was that there's this guy from my school who goes to a gym. I see him all the time, like coming home from the gym or going to a gym and I can tell because he's got his AirPods in and he's looking like really serious and he's wearing his like gym backpack or whatever. And he's in gym gym clothes. That's probably the most significant giveaway. But I see him all the time. This one time I was on a run with my friend. Well, I was coming back from a run with my friend. And he was like right behind us and I couldn't tell. And then I tripped up and then he... And then my friend was like, oh my god, are you okay? She was like trying to help me up. And then he walked by us and I was like, he saw that. So that was great. So I don't know if that's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me, but it is a an embarrassing thing that happened to me recently. I would simply die. At that moment, at that moment in time, I do think a little bit of my soul did die. Question three. What was the smartest animals that aren't humans? 
Um, I don't know. I'd probably say something like dolphins, but that's just because I've heard that dolphins are really smart. Also, I saw this one episode. I think it was this one episode. I can't remember. It might have been The Simpsons, but where well, the dolphins took over the world, and that was kind of crazy. I'm really curious now. Did I get it right? Speak to me, Bangle, please. Aliens. Do you guys believe in aliens? I believe in them. I kind of, you know, I half want to, I, I half want humans to discover aliens in my lifetime and I hope, and I half hope they, that we don't. I'm back. All clean. Hi, Lila. I'm glad that you're clean. Are you willing to pitch in for the therapy? All those who decided to do art GCSE. <laughs> My friend to art, took art GCSE. She tried so hard. And her grade at the end, she was so disappointed with it. And she spent almost all her free time doing her final piece. Haha, <laughs> agreed. Of course you agree with me. My opinions are all correct. No, I'm joking. <sighs> Do you know what's started happening recently? Whenever I eat a tub of ice cream, I get like really cold afterwards. I think it's because I've eaten a tub of ice cream. But it didn't used to happen before, and I don't know why it's happening now. Oh, I need to like, get warmer. I'm just, I'm just going to tense my whole upper body <laughs> until it shakes to warm up. So if I look weird, just ignore that. Oh, I look constipated. <laughs> oh, frick. Are you able to do other accents than your own, such as American or, and Australian? Do you know, I like to think that I can, but I can't. Um, Like American, I probably won't. Do you know what? Give me something to say in different accents and I'll try. Do you know what? I've tried doing an Australian accent before, but it always ends up sounding like Kiwi, like not Aussie. So that's great. Cheeseburger in American. Cheeseburger. <laughs> I really want to eat cheeseburger, but like I'm kind of scared that if I do, I'm going to just get the worst bowel movements on the toilet ever. And that's just not going to be very good. So obviously I'm not going to have a cheeseburger because I'm one, lactose intolerant, two, gluten intolerant, and three, obviously the menus here just aren't gluten or lactose free. So I can't have a cheeseburger. Sorry, that was like a, yeah, a sick ways in Australia. Oh, sick ways, sick ways. I can't, whenever I, whenever I speak Australian, it either sounds like Kiwi or it just goes straight to like Texas American and there's no in between. This one time I tried to do an Australian accent and it turned into like some kind of Polish accent. It was so weird. I was actually a really good American. Well, thank you. I got it from practicing the My Little Pony accents when I was like 10. I can still do a really good Pinkie Pie accent. Say, so you know, nothing, John, now. I can't do a Scottish accent. Whenever I try to do a Scottish accent, it ends up, it ends up sounding kind of weird and... Yeah. You know nothing. You know nothing. I can't do it. I can't do a Scottish accent. Oh god, flashbacks to demon ponies. Flashbacks to cannibal ponies. More like. What's your favorite favorite? Sorry, favorite ice cream. It's this one. It's it's literally this one. The chocolatey love affair. I totally recommend it. So the answer was chimpanzee. To who was the smartest animal? Oh, I should have real <sighs> stupid. Question four: Who wrote "Death of a Salesman"? Um, I have no idea. 
Um, was it Bon Jovi? No, was it um was it um Oh, I don't know. I couldn't even give a guess because it might be embarrassingly inaccurate. Arthur Miller. Did he write? Wait a second. Let me just let me just research something real quick. I got chocolate on my finger. I can't. Yeah, no, I, I don't know who, who that guy is. I'm sorry. Your truth is, who is your celebrity crush? Um, that was a really tough one. Um, it's hard to fall in love with celebrities. I never really find, do you know what's really embarrassing? I have crushes on cartoon characters, but I don't have crushes on celebrities. I do have a crush on my, no, actually I don't. I don't know. Can I, can I just, can I just say somebody who I find really pretty? Um, if I did have a celebrity crush, I'd want it to be on Zendaya. <laughs> yeah. Who is your cartoon crush? Sorry, <laughs> it's all right. Um, this is gonna sound really embarrassing, like really bad. But at the moment, I'm watching Shira. I really like Katra. It's just the way she's like, "Hey, Adora." Sorry, I'm cringing talking about this. I'm sorry. Katra, it's definitely Katra from Shira. But to be fair, I usually develop a crush on at least one cartoon character in every single cartoon that I watch. Oh my god, like, have you guys watched Big Mouth? Like, in a weird way, I really liked Connie. Question five, what is a bangle? <laughs> okay, it's either you or like a bracelet that you wear on your hand. Although it's kind of like a thin metal one. Katra was like an awakening for me, LMAO. I know. I remember watching her when I was younger and like feeling some kind of way, but like not knowing what it was. You know what I mean? Correct. Oh my God. Is that the first one that I've gotten correct? Wow. That's one correct out of what, like five now? Yeah. Wow. I'm so good at this. Now you ask me. Okay. Um, what is Avogadro's constant commonly used as the constant in chemistry? Oh, but I can't tell if you're going to search it up now, can I? You might, you might like be on your phone and just search up. What is Avogadro's constant? And then you'll know what it is. Oh, wait, no. Truth or dare. That's what it was. Not a question. Yeah. Anyway, you pick truth. Okay. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't know if you were doing a dare, would I? So that's probably the only thing. Okay, so here's the thing. I hate it. I not 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 I hate. I suck at asking questions. So, um, I'm just gonna read one of your questions. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> if you have one. Hey, I'm late. That's all right. Slim shady. You're just in time to see me save all the chocolate bits at the bottom of my at the bottom of my ice cream. Okay, don't judge, but we don't judge here. This is a judgment-free zone unless, well, there are certain exceptions. I'll try not to judge you. OMG, I save them too. You kind of have to, right? They're the best bit. Bangle, who is your celebrity crush? 
Sofia Vergara. Oh, wait a, wait a damn minute. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I know her. For no reason. I think that's a pretty good reason. She's very beautiful. My celebrity crush is probably Peppa Pig. Oh my god, so relatable. She was my awakening. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, um, no judgment here. Jay. That was great. It's always going to be great. It's my favorite ice cream. If you could live anywhere, where would you live and why? I would live um, <laughs> either here or Norway. Who played the boss in the UK office? Um, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say... Um, hmm, yeah, I have no idea what either of those are. So I'm just going to think of a random person. And that random person is Florence Pugh. Hey, yeah. Uh, hi. You want a hint? Yes, please. A hint is better than saying Florence Pugh. I'll give you another guess. Oh, I don't know. It's a very famous British comedian. I don't know any comedians. I'm just gonna think of another random person. Benedict Cumber. Do you know what? I'm just going to say the weird pronunciation. Benedict Cucumber. That guy. You know that guy, Benedict Cumberbatch, that everybody just calls like Benedict C Cucumber, or like they, they call him like a weird name? Ricky Gervais. Oh, that name does not sound familiar. See, I, I'm not a very big, I'm not very explorative with different peoples. Google's British comedians. Yeah, that's, I was, I was, I was about to do that. I was, I'm not going to lie. I would have just like gone through them, like a big list of the comedians. <laughs> I say this every live, but do you know do you know how annoying it is? Like I'm I'm on this like on a different account so I can like watch myself on live and like read the comments because it's way easier to read the comments on here than it is to like watch them flash up on my screen. But the lag like, you guys are hearing this, but you're not hearing this for, like, ten seconds. It's so annoying. Okay, your truth is the most sus thing you've ever done. What do you mean by sus? What do you mean by sus? 24 days till Christmas. Don't make me excited. Do not make me excited. I'm already as, I'm already excited as it is. I've tried my... I've tried so hard to not... burst into like Christmas tuned but it's so hard because I'm so excited for Christmas right now like creepy or weird sus I don't know oh my god actually related to my eating disorder when I was like really bad I went to France and I saw this really skinny guy he was like super skinny and I nearly took a picture of him with Inspo I was this close but then I was like what the, what the flip are you doing and I didn't that was really that was really sus that was really creepy the best time of the year has begun December oh yeah I'm so I'm absolutely buzzing right now, like buzzing with excitement. What's your real name? You got me, guys. I'm Batman. No, I'm joking. Um, Rosa, as an R O S A. It's me. Sun. Wait. Excuse me. Laughing face. Laughing face. Laughing face. I'm so funny. I really am so funny. 
I went to Sainsbury's with my friends today. We tried on a load of random clothes. It's kind of funny. Where is it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Are you finally single? I was single for quite a while. I was single up until about a week ago. Then I was snatched up by some beautiful, beautiful girl. Like the colour, Rosa. Like the colour in, I think it was Spanish or Italian. But yeah. Your name is actually so nice. Oh, thank you. Who betrayed Rosa in Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Oh! Do you know how annoying this is? I kn I can't remember. I can't remember. I s oh, why do I suck so bad at like actors and comedians and stuff? Rosa is just the colour pink, but in German. Oh, right, in German. I think Rosa is pink in a lot of countries, in a lot of languages. She's a very famous Latina actress. I, mm, no, because I'm totally not searching up on my phone right now. Let me just, I'm just, you know, like looking at my text right now. Um, Steph, uh, oh, I just remembered. It's Stephanie Beatrice. <laughs> I definitely did not search that up. Rosa is pink in my language, Italian. Oh yeah, Italian. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. You get one search per three questions. <laughs> it's like it's like a pass, but a search. So that's great. Speaking of German, try to pronounce this casual German word here. Oh, not this super long word. I hate super long words. You know, my mum, there's this there's this 50 letter long word in Welsh and my mum knows it. And it's, how does she know a 50 letter long word in Welsh? And she can just recite it anytime. It's crazy. How's your job going? It's, oh my God. You know, it's getting better because I'm getting more used to stuff. They've opened Hologate, like this new holographic kind of thing that they're also going to be opening to party soon, which means I'm going to take children there to like do the holo, the holo thing. I'm really excited. I haven't done training on it yet, but I'm super excited. Yeah. So what's my truth? Your truth is that you've got to live the life you want. No, sorry. Um, what's your truth? Your truth. I'm going to use another. I'm going to. Yeah. What's the most sus thing you've ever done? Answer truthfully. You learnt it only to flex to it. You learnt it though. You learnt it. I kind, you know what? I kind of wish there was a feature where you could get multiple people, multiple people on screen. Cause I would, I would put you on screen. And I would get you to say that. I would make you say that. Oh, by the way, Spotify Wrapped is out. Oh my god, yeah, I showed it at the start of the live. I showed everybody my Spotify Wrapped. Somebody said my my music taste was great. Someone pulled my friend's shorts down. By someone. Oh, I thought you were gonna say by someone. I meant me. So you you got them back. Sounds like something I would do, to be fair. No, I, I don't think that's sus. I think that's just just. That's that's the right thing to do in that situation. I'm a native German speaker, though, so not a challenge. Oh, right. That's kind of cool. Oh, I can't stop making that face. You know, you know, I'm, I've, mm, I've really gotten into making this face. I've been doing it all the time. So just excuse me. Bear with me. If you don't like that face... You might want to leave the live because I might keep doing it. <laughs> if you want to know anything in German, let me know. Thank you. Do you know what? My friend took German GCSE and I didn't because I didn't quite understand how to do the harsh accents. Well, not the harsh accents, but my, my German teacher would always be like, you're too soft to speak German. And it was so annoying because I was like, you don't have to be harsh. To speak German, but anyway, it was like super annoying. Who portrayed Michael Scott from the American Office? I don't know anything about The Office. I've never watched it. Um, Michael Scott. I'm gonna say. Um, pew, 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 pew. um, it was Zendaya, Elemeo. I can say the name of that one Welsh village. Really, you know. As I said, if I if there was that feature that you could like click on somebody's profile and they could like be on the screen with you, 
as in like also on live, I would click on your profile picture and I would make you say that. Ich es sehr gern fis. I can't speak German, sorry. Und mein Schwester. Wow. I definitely understand that. Steve Carroll. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know any actors. My entire world revolves around animated series, so I I really suck at you know actors and stuff. A O W T F. You okay? He said, "I like eating fish in my sister." Excuse me. I really like eating fish and my sister. Now that's, that's sus right there. That's sussy behavior. <laughs> oh, I cringe saying that. Yummy. Not in a sus way. You made it sound sus. You made it sound so sus. <laughs> Your truth, weird school story. Weird school story. A weird school story. I guess one time, oh yeah, oh, I don't want to say anything weird, but I don't want to like, <sighs> weird school story. What do you mean by weird? Sorry, I'm going to need a bit of direction. Define weird here. Define weird. Hella sus. You're, exactly. That is hella sus. That is hella sus. There's no other, slim shady. That is really shady behaviour. <laughs> You're so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy or big incident. Oh, did you know that the fire alarm did go off during our English language GCSE? I went to like go out and then go back in. Um, were there any other crazy or big incidents? I don't think so. My school's like super tame. The only incidents we've had is like really petty drama and stuff. Caught him in 4K. You did. Slim Shady. I'm sure you didn't mean it in a sus way. You said you didn't mean it in a sus way, but that's just the way it came across. Now I have a weird school story. A boy literally pulled out a tree and started running after the teachers. Like with the tree. Running after the teachers with a tree. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> ah, no, I'm not sus, guys. It's just my sister. That's what makes it sus when you say you, you like eating fish and your sister. That, that just... It has some connotations, okay? It just has some connotations. Um, yes, with the tree. Why would you... How? Like, how And how did... Was it, like, a small tree or was it, like, a big tree? Sweet home, Alabama. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting. I'm sure you didn't mean it that way, but... This is one of those situations where you kind of hope it's in a cannibalistic way and not a, an incestuous way. <laughs> Most action that tree ever had. <laughs> I mean... We had a bomb threat followed by a parent waltzing in with a gun in the same week. A parent of like one of the kids in the school. And this was primary school. Jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a big one, like medium. How big was this kid? How big are we talking? Was this like a six foot tall kid or was this like a four foot 11 who was just like majorly strong? Was the tree like already slightly uprooted? I need the details here. Look at question eight. Question eight, who portrayed Michael Scott from the American office? As we have established, I do not know. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. No, a bomb threat, then a, par then a parent waltzing in with a gun in primary school. I'm sorry. Um, bangle, pretty average. Sorry, the last question I asked. Wait, what was the last question you asked? I am slightly confused. This kid was four foot nine and fully intact with the ground. So, a short kid, the tree was fully intact with the ground. And he just pulled, he just uprooted a tree and ran, just like up and ran. towards teachers. Sorry, that would be my last straw as a teacher. I just quit. The Ben and Jerry's one. Wait, what Ben and Jerry's question did you ask? 
kid became the anime main character. That that was probably the kid's main main character moment. With the power of all the gemstones, I lift up this tree. Tree smash! Oh, I'm cringing at myself. Sorry. Yes, with the roots, just like dangling out of the tree all over the pit. Oh my god. Scroll up a little and you see it. Wait, I don't know the question, bro. 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 I don't know. I can't find it. I'll type it again. Please do. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Do you know what? I can't find, I can't find my phone in a room full of nothing. No, there was this one instance where I was like, where's my phone? And it was just like on the dining room table. That was, that was pretty great. That was not humiliating at all. What was the Ben and Jerry's flavour named after the caramel sutra? It was caramel sutra core. It was just had like a caramel core. I think it was chocolate ice cream on one side and caramel ice cream on the other. It's just so, so delicious. I lost my phone in my hand. <laughs> there was this one time my grandma, we were at the beach um, and my grandma was like asking us, does anybody know what my dress was? And she was wearing it. That was hilarious. Correct, what's my truth? Your truth is... Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Truth and dare question. Truth questions. I don't know. Um, can somebody else think of a question? I can't think of a question. Even the ice cream being a little sus. Caramel sutra core. Caramel sutra. <laughs> Yep. I don't know. I don't know what to ask you. Um, Cause I feel like for me, every single truth and dare question, there's no answer for me. Like I can't think of a straight answer. Um, <sighs> Someone made the ice cream a little creamier. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Just reuse one of your, okay, okay. Okay, I'll go back and ask you one. Bangle, what is your real name? <laughs> it is the first day, <gasps> Wait, let me just pinch, punch, first day of the month, no returns. You've all just got pinched and punched. First day of the month, no returns. <laughs> Oliver, but ask me ask me a better one. Okay. Um a better one. Um I genuinely can't ask a qu wait. Let me just search up truth and dare question. Sorry, my family is over there. Truth or dare questions. Okay. Some of these are really weird. What's your biggest fantasy? Um, okay. Um, what's a secret you've never told anyone? I don't know. God, these are terrible questions as well. It's the first of December and I forgot to buy one. Did you not get did you not get an advent calendar? No, I'm um, you know. I I don't actually have like I have mm, I have one of those paper advent calendars, but I did get myself um uh A box of 24 Ferrero Rochers and I'm gonna have one every day, if that makes sense. So that's pretty great. This one time in school I 
flip my trousers and stitch them together without anyone knowing. Wow! <laughs> How did you split your trousers? I mean, you know, that's impressive that you managed to stitch them together and split them without anyone knowing. That that deserves some some praise. OMG no bots. I know, you know, I, I just literally I'm just gonna report that. I'm gonna get one tomorrow and then open two doors at the same time. Oh my god, I just I forgot to eat my Ferrero Rocher today. But I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it. Nah, not the bots. I know! They're so annoying. It's always like, beautiful girls here. Or, um, do you think she is the prettiest? And then it tags someone. Or like, I I contacted this person on Instagram to recover my account or something weird like that. <laughs> I bent over for the homies. Mm, nice. I climbed into five different skyscrapers in my city for the view. It was cool. Really? That's kind of cool. I do every day. Again, this shady behaviour. You guys are um, kind of a sus. What is the challenge that men partake in for November? Hmm, is it um, no natty November? Is it no, uh, no, no nicotine november is it no no i know what it is i don't want to say it i don't want to say it i don't want to say it. no nat november glad it's over i failed no not november. do you know what do you know what that's okay correct Of course I'm correct. What's your truth? Um, your truth will be... <laughs> I was thinking in my head, I'm going to ask you, how did you fail? <laughs> but I'm not going to ask that because that's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to ask you... Um, sorry, I'm just reading the comments on my iPad as well. I never participated. Someone has to keep... Can I ask you, please? <laughs> Hmm, sorry, anyway, your truth is, let me just go online and try and think of another question. Oh, some of these are really sus questions, I cannot lie. <laughs> oh, have you ever cheated on someone? Do you know what, I haven't, because I've never been in a relationship until last week. Thank you, chatty dad. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's so weird because I, I talk, I, I say weird things like this with my friends all the time. But when you when you hear somebody say it in, in a comment section, it just feels so weird. <laughs> Correct answer would have been November. Yeah, guys, what you are, uh, what you are, uh, what you got going on up there? Never, because I'm a sigma. Cheating is a big no-no, and you're welcome. Anything for the homies, Bangle. What? <laughs> Question 11. What type of bees are best? Okay, that's that's highly subjective. Um, I'm just going to go with what the best are to me, and I'm going to say honeybees, because I like honey. Even though I'm a girl, I failed it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I know anybody who actually did not fail. I'm um, just putting that out there. Boo. Bee. No, that's what you're supposed to ask um, for Halloween. You're supposed to be like, what type of bees are the scariest? Boo! Bees. That's what you're supposed to do. But it's a good joke even then, so. I don't think I told that very well. Ignore me.
Okay, just out of curiosity, just just to make sure we're all um, you know, can I just get a general age range in the comments? How old are you guys? Just out of curiosity, you know. Yo, let's get them bad dad jokes in here. <laughs> mm. Sixteen. Nice bangle. Twinsies bangle. Everyone's worst joke. Go. I'm going to let you guys answer that. I can't think of things on the spot. 24. Nice. 16. Nice. Fifth form. Nice. 17. Nice. Damn, I'm a boomer. It just means you're the oldest of us all, I think. You're the wisest of us all, so don't worry about that. Okay, my worst joke is... Why did the maths teacher teach maths? Is it because they were really good at maths but realised that it would never lead to any potential explorative career? No, it would never lead to anywhere in terms of career. So they decided they'd just do the one thing that... Oh, sorry, that sounds really depressing. You know what? I don't... I really love my maths teacher, so I can't... I can't say anything rude. Do you know what? No, no. What's the answer to that joke? Answer the question. No, the truth question. What question? Can I post dark humour? Go ahead. Like, I I support all types of humour here, guys. Especially self-deprecating humour. That's great. I support that. Has the coronavirus forced you to wear glasses and a mask at the same time? Yeah? What's the difference between Jesus and a picture of Jesus? The picture only needs one nail to hang. <sighs> That's your joke, by the way. Oh, is it like a one-liner? Wait, has the coronavirus forced you to wear glasses and a mask at the same time? Part of it. Oh, okay. 15. Slim Shady. You're 15, wait, Slim Shady, does that mean that you're the, you're the youngest of us? So we've got a general age range of nine years, so we've got 15, 24, nice. I went through 50 stories at once, answer your truth. What is the truth? I've forgotten the truth, I'm sorry. Just realised I was a minute behind. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, uh, wait, has the, coronavirus has the coronavirus forced you to wear glasses and a mask at the same time? You may be entitled to condensation. Oh, I get it now. <sighs> I get it. Oh, no, I'm the child. No, seriously, I was you a year ago. I still feel like a child now. What do you call a gay on fire? What do you call a gay on fire? LG BB, LG barbecue. <sighs> can I just screenshot that so I can tell my friends? Just, you know, just for like no reason whatsoever. Just for like scientific purposes. <laughs> it was a 9 11 joke. <clears throat> I'm staying, I'm, I'm 15 too. Oh, cute, cute. Okay, so two 15 year olds. You know, your joint youngest. Which is not a bad thing. You've got more life to live than any of us here. Answer the truth. Can you retype the truth? I'm sorry, I'm too lazy to go back and find it. I'm sorry. You've got another one, okay. Why are people from the US so good at solving Rubik's Cubes? I don't know. Why are people from the US so good at solving Rubik's Cubes? Because they have a history of separating colours. I'm not gonna laugh. Oh, 
Bro. You did them dirty. I'm holding back tears right now. Oh, this this doesn't even feel fresh. My friends were making weird jokes like this earlier. Not not that type of weird, as in just like slightly dodgy jokes. <clears throat> Me and my best friend in maths be like. Me and my best friends have a more flirtatious sense of humour than dark sense of humour. We're not even joking to be fair with I don't even know. Worst of all, I'm sitting here wheezing at my own jokes. <laughs> no, I do that all the time. <laughs> Bangle, why did you just type out cancer? Was that part of a joke? I don't think I got the full joke. I thought curing anorexia would be a piece of cake. <laughs> oh my god, if only. Answer the truth. Have you ever ripped your trousers? No. Oh, not like in the crotch area, but I have on the knee because I was bike riding with a friend and I tried to like get onto the curb but it just like I just skid and then I I had this massive bloody patch on my knee it was disgusting but it was like it tore my trousers so badly that was great I can't be the only one who before I tell my joke is laughing my head off no I can't tell jokes anymore because like when I'm thinking about them I'm laughing and then I can't tell the jokes so that's great yeah you're not the only one I promise <laughs> God, another terrible dad joke. Oh my God, go ahead, please. I need more dad jokes. Give me more dad jokes. Read my joke. I, the only bit of your joke I can see is cancer. I'm sorry, Bangle, the only bit of your joke that I can see is the word cancer. Okay, so, hi, smiley face. You've got another terrible dad joke. So, my wife told me I have to stop acting like a flamingo all the time. So I've had to put my foot down. <clears throat> oh, you typed it above the dad joke. I'm so confused, bro, I'm so confused. I'm only seeing half of your jokes, like when you went, they went through 50 stories at once. And that was the, then 9-11 joke. I can't see where you've typed it, I'm sorry. I think I'm only getting like half of your jokes. Lion music. Oh no, me too. My friends already asked me to write them down because I'm physically incapable of speaking because I'm always laughing. They're like, what might this joke be about? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a problem at this point. Random person. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Uh, do you think he saw us? Do you think he saw us? Or do you think he saw us? <sighs> Call to see if your grand, if I see of your granddad. Now I like your granddad's sense of humour. <laughs> it's actually a, uh, actually wonderful. Actually, one of the best jokes I've ever heard. Oh, the dinosaur joke was my favourite as a child. Oh my god. And like there was this joke where it's like, what do you call a whatever with only one eye or what whatever eye, you know? I can't. Bangle, you just typed out the word cancer again. I'm sorry. 
maybe maybe you're typing something and it's being filtered out because my comment section won't let you type it out so maybe that's why the joke isn't appearing i don't know what do you call a deer with no eyes no idea that was it oh my god no idea exactly yes absolutely love the dinosaur joke <laughs> you had a you had clothing with that written on it for some reason <laughs> no it's a good joke i can see why you'd want to Bangle, what the heck are you on about? Slim Shady, I I understand your frustration. I really... Oh. What did the abandoned child get for Christmas? Terminal cancer. Oh. Oh my god. What's the difference between apples and orphans? Apples get picked. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to hell guys it's official for laughing at these jokes I am going to hell I made a website for orphans unfortunately it doesn't have a home page why are you getting all of these orphan jokes? Just, are you searching them up on Google? Are you going like all oh, funny orphan jokes? Dark are you are you searching up dark humour jokes? Because oh these have a theme. It's a sad theme. Question three, what type of microorganism does an antibiotic fight? What do you mean microorganism? As in like bacteria? Or as in a virus oh as in a virus. I did Google them, Edmeo. I thought they seemed familiar. I went through this massive. I went. I this. There was this one day where I was searching up all these dark jokes that I was going to memorize and tell my friends, but I completely forgot them by the time I got to school. Good thing too, because a lot of them were like really dodgy. Yes, correct. Bacteria was right. Yes, correct. Oh, the only thing is, I don't know how to. Let's just do truth or dare. Yeah, I like truth or dare, it's fun. I crowed when my dad was chopping onions. Onions was a good dog. What the hell? Oh my God. I've never heard that joke before. Oh my God. Ha <laughs> ha, well how do you, you're saying ha ha, but what do you think onions felt like when it was being chopped? Oh, what do you call an expensive circumcision? A rip-off. <sighs> Onions is the dog on my profile pic. Slim Shady, dude. No. <laughs> Truth, have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction? Have I? I think I've had a few times when my tops are like broken, unlike the straps. But luckily, those are mostly at home. That's my fault for buying really cheap, like, crappy tops, though. Slim Shady. <laughs> That's a very fun way of laughing. That's very expressive. What's my truth? Your truth? Um, let me just search out more truth or dare questions. Um. Oh, what are your thoughts on poly polyamory? <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, Pangle, what are your thoughts on polyamory? Mm. <laughs> If you don't want that one, I'll give you another one. Um, have you ever cheated in an exam? Rosa, poly what? As in a polygamous relationship, polyamory, I think. You know, like when you're in a relationship with multiple people. Did you know that Dora the Explorer is in a computer game and she speaks Spanish, of course, and the Spanish for computer is Computer Dora. Dora is short for Computer Dora. I did not know that. 
That's a really nice fact though, thank you. That's the type of fact that I'd like tell my friends the next day and be like, look what I found out all by myself. And they'd be like, oh, hmm. And I'd be like really proud of myself even though I didn't even come up with that kind of thing. Cause you came up with it and I'd steal it from you. All oh, right, yeah, no thanks. I'd be a monogamous person, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love making this face. Oh, by the way, Bangle, it's actually Rosa with a capital R. I'm the grammar police. No, sorry. Oh, I was just remembering how my friend used to. Sorry, I'm not in the. I'm kind of out of it right now. I can't. I'm not. I'm not quite one hundred percent. You know, right now. But yeah, Bangor, if you ever want to say my name, you have to put my you have to put capital letter at the start, because I am very grammar policey. I'm actually joking. Um No, but seriously. It's not that I get frustrated, it's just it just feels like did you did not just do lowercase r capital O S A. Well, do you know what? That's better than that's better than not trying, so thank you. Do you have any hidden talent? Bangle, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you have any hidden talents? Um, no. People think I have talents, but then they get to know me and they're like, oh, you don't actually. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna read these out. Rosa! 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 Rosa. Asor Rosa. Wow, wow, real, real funny, you guys. Real, real funny. Rosa. Roro. My little brother used to call me Rora. He pooped in my room once. Rosa? Sasa. Search up on YouTube the Rosa song. Salsa. <laughs> Roro, Sasa, Salsa. Ours. Alphabetically right. That's a smart way of putting it. Pink. True. I think the camera shows it. I think it does. I'm actually chronically pink. Have you seen my face? I'm always pink. I'm like chronically red in the face. Search up dinosaur with 500 teeth and tell us the name. I'm a paleontology student. Dinosaur with 500 teeth. Why though? Okay. Dinosaur with 500 teeth. I'm not going to say that just because I feel like that's a trap. No, don't do it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, LMAO. Don't do it, Rosa. Yeah, don't worry, Sim Shady. Can I ask the origin behind your guys' names just out of curiosity? Bangle for all the bangles you'll receive, my love. Hmm. I'm a random human on a big rock in space. Aren't we all? Although I, I do like to think I've been chosen by the higher powers, you know. I'm pretty awesome. Slim Shady is because me and my friends always listen to Eminem. Lose yourself. Oh, yeah. I once made a music producer group with friends and we tried coming up with a unique name. Then I came back with this name. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Is it Vonras? Venras. Vonras. The group split, but I kept the name. Oh, you know, I'm sorry the group split, unless it was the right thing. 
but he is Slim Shady. Yes, he used the real Shady. All the other Slim Shaders are just imitating. So, what the real Shady? Please stand up. Please stand up. Yeah, Bangle, that is very correct. Do you know what? I suffer from a lot of conditions. Chronic redness in the face, chronic confusion, and this chronic confusion is really playing up right now. Oh, it's the lag thing. I really hate how you don't hear what I actually say until like 10 seconds later. It's kind of stressful. My name is just Bangle because I'm a Sigma male. Wow. What's your favourite song? Let me just go into my Spotify player. It changes like every week and I, re I replay the song until I get sick of it or, if I, or until I find a new song. Um, and then I just I listen to that on repeat. Um, at the moment, it is... Um, let me try and find it. Um, Dare by Gorillaz at the moment. Although it was Gilded Lily by Colts, and then it was Am I the Antichrist to You? And then it was a load of Mitski songs, um... I really like Mary on a Cross. I really like Wires by The Neighbourhood. Oh, Say It Ain't So by Calpurnia. Um, then I got into a load of songs by Marina. Um, Two Face by Jack Daniels, Jake Daniels. A load of different songs, you know. I, I, have like, I have like a wide range of songs that I like, so it's pretty great. Sing With Me, No. Oh my God, I have to scroll up to read this. Ooh. I also live confused, babe. It's frustrating as frick. It really is. Dream On by Aerosmith. Oh, okay. Let's get some science questions in here so y'all learn something. Sure. We love a Sigma male. Sure we do. Sing with me. Sing for the year. No. I mm, I, I can't sing on camera. I haven't sung in ages. I just, I can't. What element is represented as AG on the period table? Silver, right? Um, you're pretty... You're mad pretty, not gonna lie. You're mad pretty, and I can tell because I'm actually secretly your FBI agent and I can see you right now. I can tell you're really pretty. Silver. Oh, did we guess the same thing? Argon, Vernus. Smirks in chemistry. Silver is right. Oh, right. Comes from Latin. Argentum. Oh, yeah, I heard the, um, all the periodic table, like the AR, the AU, the C, the O, it all com comes from Latin, so that's pretty cool. No, at Bangle. Argon is AR. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Nicola Lloyd. Wait, are you the one who lives really close to me? Just checking, because we were talking about, like, candy fireworks or something, and then a certain town. Yeah. Yes, I am, Lloyd. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. Are you into fitness? Oh, I'm mad into fitness. Can't you tell by these absolute new massive games? Yeah, no, I want to be into fitness, but I'm just not very into fitness. I want to. Yeah, she is an MFAO. Oh my god. In terms of running, yes, 100%. I love running. I haven't been able to do a run in a while because my dietitian therapist, they keep on changing their minds. They're like, you can go for a run. And they're like, no, you can't go for a run. And they're like, yes, you can. And they're like, no, they can't. So annoying. Um, so whenever I can go for a run, I squeeze one in. But I really want to start going to the gym because apparently that's super good for your bone density. And oh my god, my bones, they are trash right now. I literally have osteopenia. They are trash. And also, do, do you want to know what's really funny? Um, I'm actually the strongest in my group, my group of friends, um, but I don't look it. And I kind of want my exterior to match my interior. That, you know, that, that makes no sense, but I do want to look a bit stronger as well. So that'd be great. I had Latin for four years in school and can barely remember anything. Oh, that's so annoying. I I took French GCSE and I loved it so much. I still retain, I still retain a bit of the knowledge, but I'm really scared that I'm going to lose it all. But I don't have the time to take like extra French lessons. It's so annoying. A certain town beginning with W. Yes. Winchester. It's not actually. Uh, but yeah. Only easy stuff like. Alia. Iacta est. Yeah. Easy stuff. <laughs> I'm not really a sporty person to be honest. Yeah. Some people are and some people aren't. 
What country do you live in? I mean, if you want to say lol. Yeah, England. I live in England, in it, bros. Yeah. Bonjour, je m'appelle Alex. Bonjour. Or something like that. Never learnt French. Yeah, it's je m'appelle. I call myself Alex. I tried to do ab workouts, but just no. Yeah, I tried to get into ab workouts, and I got pretty good at them, but then it was like, oh, it's too much effort, and I just dropped them. Ah, oops. But to be fair, there's like a whole world of sports out there. There's like proper sports, like football and netball and lacrosse and stuff like that. But then there's also like, you know, going to the gym, but then there's also swimming, but then there's also like archery and like horse riding and all these different things, you know? And then there's also running and biking. There's so many different things to be fair with sports. Via Dormit is pretty much the extent of my Latin knowledge. Yeah, I don't. Je parle anglais, c'est très bien. I want to do archery again. I did archery for like a brief period when I went to scouts. It was super fun and I was really good at it. But then I I, I stopped doing scouts, then I stopped doing it. Tourne dans la vie, David, tourne dans la vie, tourne dans la vie. <laughs> oh my god, I love that song. Anyway, to be honest, I love fitness and tennis. I used to play tennis all the time. I suck, I sucked at it and I still did. Oh my god, and badminton. In PE, before lockdown, we did badminton all the time. That was so fun. And my friend, Emily, she was so good at it. Because, and, oh my god, she's like the fittest person I know. She's so fit and she's like super fast and like she does she does um hockey right now. But she was so good at tennis and stuff. She, like amazingly good. I would always be like, oh wow. I would I would always want her on my team because she was so good at it. But got no forests here for it. Oh, you can't do archery because there's no forests. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that's annoying. I'm so, I'm so bad at archery, it's sad. Don't worry. I'm so bad at a lot of things, but it's sad. I do boxing. I've, all, I've always been curious about boxing. Boxing sounds really interesting. Yeah. I, do you know what's funny? I will fight you. Go ahead. Bet you can't take me. Bet you can't take me on. I'm trying to think of something to say. It's just not coming. Yeah, but I will fight you back. Um. Anyway. My mum actually did a boxing lesson a little while back and she said she really enjoyed it, so sounds fun. The only fitness I do is dancing. That's pretty cool. Do you know what? I took a dance. I took... Oh, it was a very specific street dance in like year one and two. You know, year three and four. And it was really fun. I sucked at it, but it was really fun. So I'm sure you're having a blast doing dancing. Actually, no. What type of dancing are you doing? Is it is it ballet? Because if it's ballet, I have very different opinions about ballet. Hey girl, do you have any up dog? Or what does that mean? Do you play any instruments? I used to play, I used to play recorder, and then I played the violin, and then I sang, and then I stopped. So not anymore. But what does hey girl do you have any up dog mean? What does that mean, guys? As I said, I live my life in a confused state, so I don't know what a lot of things mean. I play cello, piano, guitar, and drums. All of those. Currently. That's a lot. Do you have any pets? No, I used to have fish. Um, but then... Well, I used to have two goldfish, but then... Um, go yeah, Daisy and Sophia, but then Daisy nibbled Sophia's tail, and then she she couldn't reach the top, she couldn't get food, and then she died. And then we decided to get six little zebra fish um, to keep Daisy company. And the next morning we woke up and there were only three zebra fish left and Daisy ate three. So we had to take those back to the pet shop. Um, and then Daisy died a few days, not a few days, a few years later uh, when she was six years old. Um, yeah, she lived a hell of a life. <laughs> I mean, as hell of a life you can have as a fish in a fish tank, I guess. You're meant to say what's up dog and then say something and then say nothing much more about you. Hey girl, do you have any up dog? I'm confused. Do you have up dog? 
Oh no, not the up dog. I'm so confused, bros. Ha ha. I do Latin and ballroom, actually. I used to do ballet, but it kind of messed me up. Oh, oh, Latin and ballroom. That sounds kind of fancy. That does sound kind of fancy. Up dog, do you have it? You ruined it. I don't understand. Bros. Six years, mine lasted like one at best. I know, and a lot of the time I'd forget to feed my, my fish and she lived to like the ripe age of six. Oh my God. It's like a ligma joke. I'm still confused. I'm still confused. My humor is limited to cartoon characters and a certain type of humor that I will not get into, but yeah. Goldfish are unstoppable. They kind of are. They kind of are. I can't lie. You look really nice. Bangor, thank you. But you look really nice too. As I said, as your FBI agent, I'm monitoring you currently from my laptop over there. And you look really nice too. What do you call my grandpa? Um, your grandpa is... Um, well, the things... I'm not really allowed to disclose that on the internet for other people because I feel like that kind of invades your privacy, you know? I mean... You know, spying on you as a as your FBI agent is one thing, but telling people the name of your grandpa feels a bit dark. Um, it, feel, it feels a bit wrong. Sorry. Doesn't matter. He ain't coming back. Yeah. The thing is, I just I don't like disclosing too much information on people. You've had a goldfish for seven years. Your mom's trying to murder you. Trying. Why is your mom trying to kill your goldfish? So okay, okay, okay. Someone asks if you have up dog and the normal person asks in return, what's up dog? As in, what's up dog? And that person then replies with not much. What about you? Oh, someone asks you, do you have up dog? What's up dog? Nothing much. What about, oh, makes sense. Thank you. I'll know for future reference now. Bangle, he's dead, LMAO. I know he's dead. I'm your FBI agent. I'm watching you laugh right now. Oh my God. How are you? Pretty good, Casper. How are you? I'm trying to think of funny stories from school. Oh yeah, if you do think of any, put them in the comments. Whoa, Casper's a cool name. Kind of reminds me of Casper the ghost. Casper also kind of sounds like it could be a, a food brand, but very specifically for hot chocolate. Maybe it's because it reminds me of Whisper, I know. I'm great, thank you for asking. Thank you. That's good to hear. Isn't Casper a rapper as well? Is, oh. Oh, uh, my mum's just sent me a text message to keep the noise down as it's gone 10 p.m. and my siblings are trying to sleep. Okay, kiss. There we go. Wait, really? I didn't know that. I also did not know that. If someone got their pyjama trousers pulled down, commando, she didn't live it down. I wouldn't. I'd move, I'd move school. I would move town. I would move countries. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi, T. I swear there are, there are sorry, I swear there was some rapper with that name somewhere. Uh, do I have to search it up? Oh no, not your mug. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, I don't blame her. I am really noisy at this time of the night. Casper Rapper. Oh, I spelt it rapper as in sweet rapper. Rapper as in sit song rapper. Casper, German American rapper. Benjamin Jiff. Griffey, better known by his stage name, Casper, is a German-American rapper signed to Sony Music. Hmm. Love you so much, girlie. You're an inspiration. I love you too, T. Is that how you do them? I think it's that. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go now. I need to check my Spotify wrapped and it's 
23.15 here already. Wow, it's only 22.15 here. Bangal, why are you trying to recruit this guy into your chat club? That's kind of, it's kind of dodgy, dude. Are you excited for Christmas? Yes. Before I have an uncontrollable spasm over how excited I am for Christmas, I just need to say, yeah, I'm excited. So excited. I don't think people know how excited I am. A club to overthrow Rosa. Why are you trying to overthrow me? There are only two reasons why you want to overthrow me. Because one, I'm your FBI agent and you don't want me invading your privacy like that. Or two, I'm basically God at this point. You son of a bee, I'm in. Why does that sound like a Rick and Morty reference? Bangle bro, what? No, I'm confused. The spasms are justified. They are. I'm so excited for Christmas. Slim, you went. Slim Shady, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do this to me, bro. Don't do this to me. Bangle, how are you even going to overthrow me? You can't. I'm basically a god at this point. <sighs> Imagine having God as your FBI agent. Honestly, you should feel blessed, Bangle. Don't simp for her, my G. Ooh, nobody's simping for me. I'm... Mm. Now I stand with your FBI agent. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Sorry, guys. Simping. They're not simping. Simping's when you're, like, sucking up to someone. This is, like... This is being on the right side of the wall, guys. I'm sorry. This is being on the right side of the wall. Team Bangle versus Team Ice Cream. We have our first target. No. Have a great night. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, Casper, have a great time. Mwah. It's going down, folks. You're the only ones going down. I'm sorry. I'm too strong to overthrow. As I said, have you seen these ginormous gains? One day, one day, I will. No, I want to know. I see. I wanted. I want to know your plan, because I don't think it's gonna work. I used to lift. You know, one day I'm gonna say that when I'm old. I used to lift until I got into this retirement home. That came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. That was really random. Um. But then I took an arrow to my knee. To your knee. Jeez. Are you okay? <laughs> I'll remain neutral and casually take sides with the winner. That is so me. Rosa, we need to get them. <laughs> no, we need a team name. And destroy them. We do need to get them. Okay, Slim Shady, what are we going to do? Banras. Did you just come up with a cool name? Wait, what's my what's my name? I Crave Yogurt. Okay. Um, How do you mix Slim Shady and I Crave Yogurt? I don't think we can come up with a good name. Do you know what? Um, I crave shade. That's kind of cool. Random person. That's kind of cool. I like that. I crave shade. First, we, bu we burn all the left side of her wardrobe. Yogurt shadow. Yogurt shadow. <laughs> That's kind of cool too. Oh, now it's a meme from Skyrim, LMO. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to me. I'm sorry, I don't get I don't get jokes like this or references. Shady yogurt. Oh my God, that sounds kind of... <laughs> hi, join us. No, hi, join us. Join. Okay, guys, are we going to be I Crave Shade or Yogurt Shadow? Either way, hi. Don't join. Don't join Banners. Join us. Hi, join us. Yeah, join us. We're the best team. We are the best team. I'm the FBI agent here. I'm the god here. Hi, join us. We will give you ice cream. I will give you ice cream. Join us and we will make your name part of our team. Oh, Slim Yogurt. That sounds so bad. <laughs> As 
has in slim chances to win this fight. I disagree. Um, <laughs> I accept the ice cream. Random person. You've joined our little cult here. Here's, do you know what, I'm, uh, yeah, DM me your address and I'll get you some ice cream. Yes, a random person is on our team. I will join the ice cream. See you guys, my godlike appeal is working. I'm on 2%. Oh, Slim Shady, what are you going to do? Another fallen person. Save me. I kind of wish you could like send people charge, but I, oh, what am I going to do? Um, okay, Slim Shady, you get back to the barracks, you recharge, we'll we'll hold off the frontline defences for now. You, you, you know, take all the rest you need. Goodbye, my fellow god, I will be back. It's all right. Even god needs some breaks sometimes. See ya, Slim. Yeah, bye, Slim Shady. L hair. Do you mean you? Do you mean you, Bangle? You know, as your FBI agent, I can see you right now. Your hair's looking really scruffy. L life. Yeah, Bangle, I can see you. You're living in, you're living, you know, you're living not very happily. I can see you, you know, through, through the camera on your screen. L bozo. Yeah, Bangle. You really are, aren't you? Random person. We shall protect Rosa whilst you're gone. <laughs> hmm. I had to shave my head due to chemo. Yeah, sure, Bangle, sure. I can tell you didn't, actually, because I'm your FBI agent and I can see through your camera. I can tell you're just trying to be funny. You're just joking. You're just lying. You know, as your FBI agent, I think it's, um... I think it's quite, uh... Quite... Quite funny how you, you think that you can defeat my godlike observation abilities. Lol, for real, I did. Yeah, the thing is, I know you don't, you didn't, because I can see through your camera. I can see through your camera that you didn't. You've got a full head of luscious hair there, my dude. You didn't. Luscious hair, that's still pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Three found a small tumour in my forehead. Do you know what? One of my friends had um, cancer, brain cancer. And do you know what? He had like a really low chance of survival and he made it and he's like really happy and healthy now. And we adopted him into our group in year, this year actually. He's really nice. Sometimes he, he gets a bit, his, his friendship gets a bit overbearing, but I guess if you spend so much time in a hospital, it's really nice, but also kind of overwhelming to spend a lot of time with people. I had it buzz cut. No, I don't believe you. I can see your hair through there. Well, anyway, it was fun here. Have a good night, all of you. Okay, bye, Bonras. <laughs> Be strong, fellow Bonras, Chaddy Daddy. What is that? What is that term, Chaddy Daddy? That is not okay. Anyways, he's weakening the defenses with the cancer story. L blonde. Yeah, you do have blonde hair, don't you? I can see Bangle. I can see. L nose. Yeah, you do have a really weird nose, Bangle. L ratio. Yeah, I think the, the amount of, you know, you're just having like a really bad time, Bangle. I can tell. I can just see, seeing through my FBI camera, I can tell I've hit a nerve and I will continue hitting it. JK, love you, Queen. No, seriously. This type of, is it banter? This type of banter. This is the type of thing that we need, right? We need more of this in the world. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep making this face. I'm sorry. Oh, such a gorgeous face. I love making that face so much. Yas, stream more. Of course I will. Of course I will. I love streaming. It's it's just kind of hard because like time management, you know. I don't know. I'd love to though. <sighs> Streams are so fun. I know! It's like basically having a conversation with people. Except 
not really having a con you know what I mean they're always so different as well Elamira I think I feel like the vibe really depends on who's watching and how I'm feeling obviously but you know make a short on the wall and we'll, we'll see whose side your viewers are on don't tempt me don't tempt me never get bored how could we get bored we're just we're a nice little group we're a nice little group aren't we we're a yeah this face is addictive whether there's a trash bag lover or not oh my god that trash bag guy I was almost tempted to get a trash bag, I'm not going to lie, just to shut them up. And I did actually text my mum, can you can you bring me a trash bag? And she was like, yeah, I'll bring you a trash bag, why do you need one? And I was like, actually don't, I, I thought she was going to be like, why do you want a trash bag? No, I'm not getting you one. But she did say yes, it was, it was, it was weird. Um, sorry, that went off tangent. Yeah, um, I feel like that trash bag person, they definitely comment that on every single live they're on. And I bet they'll keep doing that until somebody wears a trash bag. Do you know what? My theory is that one day they're going to scroll onto a live and it's going to be somebody all we already wearing a trash bag and it's going to be love at first sight. And then they're going to start like talking in the chat and they're going to be like discussing their love of trash bags. And then slowly they're going to fall in love with each other. Then they're going to meet up. Then they're going to go on a date. But they're going to be wearing trash bags for their first date. And then, you know, their relationship will progress. They'll get married in trash bags. They'll have kids and their kids will have trash bags. Yeah. 100%. Do you think do you think me talking about trash bags is why there's only three people on this live now? Did you know that Australia is wider than the moon? I did not. I did not know that. That's a really interesting fact though, thank you. It's a real life Wattpad story. Oh no, I did not just come up with a whoop. Oh. Ew, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to. I'm so forgive me. Forgive me. Yeah, I really do think that my me talking about trash bags is what reduced the amount of people on this live. Whoops. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> oops. Yeah, oops. <laughs> Big oops. I'm just watching myself. I've only just now seen the clip. Where I get chills. So weird. I brought that up. Guilty as charged. Don't worry, random person. You're all I need on this thing. Well, hi is pretty nice too. I like you, hi. You're really nice. You bring up really cool facts. Whoever else is on this live, I need you too. You're awesome. I feel like... Do you know I feel like there's always like a few people left at the end who are the same. And then we all have... Yeah, Spangle, you too. We always, we always have like a little chat at the end. And it's really fun. Make the short and see who they will side with. How will I make a short on that though? I need a creative way of doing it. Explain to the people. So what I'm going to explain to the people is I am Bangles FBI agent. I am also God. Vonra's and Bangle want to overthrow me, but I think that me and my little group can ward them off. Ah, oh, I'm already confused. I'm so bad at this. Also, you should try to stream every week. Ideally, I would stream every week, but it's like really hard because I have like the only the only real times that I can stream are on either weekends or on school days when I don't have homework during the next day and I always have homework and a lot of the time I'm like going out with my friends now um or like going into town or having sleepovers or going to parties and stuff like that which is great because like my social life is improving massively but it also means that I can't speak to people on the internet oh no I love seeing your face Bangle I love seeing your face too I can see right now your face curling into a smile at the thought of me watching you all day <laughs> I don't think a battle to be honest no one can overthrow god true true 
imagine having a social life. <laughs> Was me up until recently. You want, you watch me change. Oh no, God, no bangle. It automatically sponsors if something dodgy comes up. Don't worry. I wouldn't invade your privacy that much. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so annoying how you're only just hearing me say this because <clears throat> so annoying the lag on this is so annoying so annoying I really wish lives were like you'd straight up be able to hear what I'm saying Ooh, wait I have a good story share bangle share with us Oh, do you know what's, what's embarrassing now? I've just been like waiting around for you guys to like hear me talk about that because of the cause of the lag. Oh, this is so embarrassing. There was this creepy guy in my school that grabbed people's butts and got punched in the face. Wow, that's uh, that's that's sus. Um, yeah, random person. Um, got punched in the. Got punched in the face by this short girl. Is that a good story? Yeah, I was gonna say, is that a good story or is that more of a mm, completely broke his nose? Okay, I think it gets better when this sh when the short girl broke his nose. Had to go to the ER. Oh, gets better. Justice. Yeah, oh, that makes it a good story. I suppose that makes it a good story. The first part was a bit like, oh, and then it was like, oh, and then it was like, oh, you know, that, that, that's uh, better. Ha ha ha, has been improved slightly. <laughs> yeah. Turns out she was a black belt. That kind of sounds like a Reddit story, you know. Um, uh, I, female, uh, I don't know, 12, kicked guy in the face, no, punched guy in the face who kicked my butt, um, and then it's like, they explain this, and then, yeah, it just sounds like, su like such a Reddit thing, or it sounds like it would be, um, r slash, am I the asshole, and it would be like, am I in the wrong for kicking this guy, for punching this guy who, yeah, though she was really quiet, so she gained a lot of popularity. That went from a Reddit story to a Wattpad story. Or that could go on r slash everyone clapped. No, but that actually sounds kind of cool. Nice person. Rose, how often do you go on Reddit? That was scarily accurate. I have a Reddit account. I go on Reddit a lot. At least once a day. I, I am very stereotypical for my age group. I go on social media a lot. Um, yeah. The best thing about going on all these social medias is that, like, I get the inside jokes from all of them. And uh, do you know what's funny? How everybody on Reddit thinks they're superior to everybody, to every other um, social media platform. Oh, and YouTube. Everybody on YouTube's like, oh, YouTube's the best. And then everyone on Reddit's like, huh, people on TikTok, people on YouTube, ugh. It's, it's hilarious. Rosa. Rosa. Yes, Bangle. What is it? I have to go now. Love you. Okay, love you, Bangle. Mwah. Bye. I mean, I'll still be seeing you from my FBI camera, but you know, bye. Yes, LMAO. <laughs> but I mean, YouTube is elite. It is elite. It is elite. That's just a fact. No, that is a fact. That is a fact. It's just, I feel like a lot of people say, a lot of people look down on people who go on other social media accounts, but eh. I go on all of them, so I can't really, can't really say anything to be fair. gonna do it one more time that's definitely not the last time i'm gonna do it i lied sorry mm. oh it's half past 10 already it's crazy wow 
peak attractiveness. True. I mean, you can't deny. Do you know what's really funny? Looking on my iPad right now, I think I look so much prettier than I do on, on my phone when, I, when it's replaying. It's kind of funny. Have you guys seen this? It's like a fake piercing. Sorry, I really want to sh- This is why I've got my hair. Because if, if I wasn't showing that, I would keep my hair like that. But I'm doing this just so you can see my earring. It's not like real, it's fake. But my girlfriend gave it to me and I really, really, really want to show it to people. People get very tired of it. Yes, it's cool. Thank you. So cool. I need to get more piercings. Yeah, I really, I want a real piercing like this. I feel like that would be so cool. My cousin has a piercing like on, you know, like one of those studs on her nose. I really want to get one of those. I was contemplating getting a septum piercing, but then my mum was like, I got one of those and it got really infected. So it kind of turned me off that, so. Bye random person. Uh, it's nice you're saying bye to everyone, Bangle. Bye, Bangle. Oh, it's nice you're saying bye, Bangle, random, random person. That's really nice. Oh, again, the lag on this is so annoying because you're not going to hear me say this for like 10 seconds. Oh. Love you. We love you, Bangle. I'll have fun watching you sleep tonight as your FBI agent. Bye. <laughs> Je t'aime. Je vous aime. Which means I love you, plural. I love you guys. I'm sorry, the, the lag on this is so frustrating because you you might be gone. You might have left the chat by the time you, by the time I like this plays and it's so annoying. Did you ever learn about the Canary Girls? No, I didn't. What's that? Or at least, who are they? Do you know what? Actually, I might have and... It might ring a bell if I hear about it. Now, it's still so weird hearing you say random person. Well, random person, what are you going to do? I mean, unless you tell me your real name, it's going to be random person. Like, I'm aware it's my user, but it's weird. Yeah, it's weird because some people refer to me as the yogurt girl or like the ice cream girl. It's kind of funny. Bye. Hi. Well, that's a paradoxical sentence. Need some water. Is it Friday tomorrow? Is it Friday the 2nd of December tomorrow? I used to get really excited for Fridays because it meant that I'd have Saturday and Sunday. But now I have work. Okay, see ya, Rose. I love you, random person. We love you, Bangle. We love you. I go by Faith, Finch, whichever you prefer. Faith, Finch. I might alternate between those two. But that's kind of cool, though. Thank you for telling me your name. During World War One, when women worked in the uh, uh, ammunition factories, they lit the paintbrushes. They were they were using hands. They made you really eyelash color like canaries. So they got called canary girls. That definitely rings a bell. Yeah. Yes, it is. Bye, Bangle. Bye, Bangle. Hope to see you again on another live. Bye, Faith. You guys, we all seem like friends now. It's kind of funny. What? Bye, Bangle. This was a very whole. This was a very very wholesome chat. Very nice. <sighs> Please stream more. I will. I promise. 
well I'll try to can't I can't promise but oh, I just did promise but I, I, I will try I promise I promise that I will try Again, the lag just feels so weird. You better because I'm big and scary. I'll come after you. Oh no! Please don't come after me, random person. Faith or Finch, please don't come after me, Faith. Please don't come after me, Finch. Why do you touch your shoulder so much? Is it like... Wait, in what way? Like... Oh, do you mean like that? Because I'm like adjusting my top. Like trying to... If you mean like that, then I'm, I'm just literally adjusting my top. Yar. Are we watching myself do this is kind of weird. Wow. Can't relate. Yeah, Bangle, I can see you don't need to touch your top. You don't need to flex on us. Well, imagine having a top that you don't need to constantly adjust. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, Bangle, I can see you in your comfortable top, not having to adjust it. <sighs> Hi. Hi, Jazz. How are you doing? Do you use Pinterest? I do. I do. <laughs> I'm okay, Has. School is almost finished for me. Oh, that's cool. Lucky. I don't know when my school finishes, but I am hoping it's soon. I finish in two weeks. I'm so, so, so excited. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm going to ask on my group chat when school finishes. Oh, I don't want to do a secret Santa in school as well as work. Oh wait, no, but it's better than, oh yeah, I suppose it's better, isn't it? Uh, oh my god, I've got a secret Santa to do at work and it's so annoying because I have I joined like two months ago or whatever. No, like about a month ago, a month and a bit ago. Yeah, about two months ago. And I got this person, I got Satvi, but I don't know what Satvi likes. It's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to ask. Do you want to see, do you want to see my, what my school group chat is called? Stinky dodo gang. <laughs> Do you like how mature my me and my sixteen and seventeen year old friends are? Our group chat is stinky dodo gang. Sorry, I'm just gonna ask when does Christmas break start? Sorry. The lag reading now is so funny. I have a math reading Santa. Oh, sorry, secret Santa. I don't know. Ugh, I'm sorry. That's so horrible. I'm crying. And I'm FAO. <laughs> I'm in until the 20th. Oh. Due to my rock hard abs and huge biceps. Bangle! Can you stop flexing stuff that I can already see through my camera? As your FBI agent, I must say, I'm well aware of how strong you are. My biceps are bigger. <laughs> I like how I think I'm so funny. Do you know what? I am so funny. I'm like the most funny person in the world. Oh, I said this at the start of the live, but I have to say it again. My 
my girlfriend, basically said that sometimes she rewatches my lives as like, and she like puts them in. She 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 does stuff and she listens to them while she's doing stuff for like background noise and it's like it made me so happy. <laughs> I felt so appreciated in that moment. Maybe Bangle is the one to overthrow God. No no no, Bangle's like Hercules and I'm like Zeus. I don't think you can quite over take over overcome me, you know? Like I actually enjoy your humour so much. Thank you, random person. Sorry, I oh my god, I've gotten used to saying random person. Thank you, Faith. Thank you, Finch. Prettiest god. I am the prettiest god. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thanks, Faith. Love you so much too. You guys. You guys are so cute. In a non-patronising, non-infantilising way. You guys are sweet. That's what I meant. Anyways, for those of you who joined recently, look at this. Look at this. Look at this fake thing. Look at this fake earring piercing thing. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Ayo, I'm back. Von Ray, why did you, wait, why did you go? 80, wait, is that 80,000 minutes of music this year? I saw that, I was going to comment on it. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I really want to get a real piercing like this because... Don't you think that would just be so cool? Because I, because it's kind of weird, because I feel like I have to, I feel like I'm going to break this because it's fake, but I don't know. Shake that thing. <laughs> mm, that's 3.6 hours per day. My dude. Are you okay? <laughs> OMG, yay. What percentage do you have now? Wait, I only had 5,000 help. I listen to music on everything, but my Spotify can't. Wait, what? What? How many hours did I have? Let me just check. I'm just checking my Spotify wrapped. Slow this goes. I like how I have pop and drift funk in the same thing. Never mind. It's not telling me how many hours I was. Your morning started with hardcore, tender, somber. You seized the day with empowering, proud, feel good. Mostly when I was running. You embraced the night with powerful kid core confident. What is kid core? I'm sorry. All that listening at here it is. 6,656 hours. That's not many to be fair. That's more than 49% of listeners in the United Kingdom. But there we go guys, my listening was mid. Oh my God, all of these comments I have to catch up on. Guys, why do you comment so much? Uh... I'm in the top 0.05% of longest Kaigo listeners. Haha, <laughs> that's that's very impressive. Bangle, Finch, love you. Random person. Oh, Finch, love you more, Bangle. I'm top 0.5% of Beba Doobie listeners. Oh, that's a flex. You guys, you guys are flexing good stuff right now. I have 11, th what? 112,000 hours. No, is that one one million one hundred twenty? No, wait, I'm messing. Yeah, one hundred twelve thousand hours. That's that's Jesus. I wanted to get over a hundred thousand though next year, I guess. Random person. Oh, I keep on. Oh, I keep on defaulting to random person. Faith, it's ridiculous. Jazz, random person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Finch, how do you do that? Will you join Bane's? You've got to do simple calculations, lol. Insomnia, jazz. I listen to music all night to sleep. Alameo, Faith, will you be the prettiest maiden in bang? Bangs. Sick, I like Kaigo too. Heartbreak. Why did it do that emoji? How do you have 112,000 hours, Alameo? I have insomnia too, but my parents take away my devices at night. Sobs at Faith. Banras, Chad. Oh, please don't say Banras, Chad. 
No, of course, bang up. I'm physically convulsing at that name. One hundred twelve thousand hours is four thousand six hundred sixty six days. How does that work? Wait, did I add too many zeros? Oh, not another bot. God. A day has 24 hours. I'm still slightly confused. Goddess Faith is a fit queen. Plot twist. I'm also Faith's FBI agent and I can confirm you are a fit queen. I can't maths, okay, LMFAO. Lol. I can't maths and I'm taking maths, A level. Wait, 112,000 ratio to 24, 4,666.66. You don't have that many days in a year, do you? I'm still confused. Do you remember when I said I live in a state of confusion? So we listened to 4,666.66 4, days of music in one year. Yeah, it's 11,200 LMFAO. Oh, <laughs> Faith. Guy got a time machine. <laughs> Clearly. I'm dyslexic, okay? It's okay, Finch. It's okay. We are... Uh, we are... Uh, we understand. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm cringing when I'm re-watching the, the live stream because it's lagging and I feel like myself is just, oh, if nobody made mistakes, I wouldn't have been bought. You aren't a mistake. I find value in your existence and thus you are not a mistake. Plus I'm God, so... I gave you a purpose to entertain me. That sounds really bad. I got to go. Glad I can make it to the live. Day. Okay, bye, Jazz. Love you. Mwah. Why? Okay, the self deprecating humour is very self deprecating here. You want to mistake Faith, you're a goddess. I can confirm as Faith's, go as Faith's goddess. As Faith's. FBI agent as well, I can confirm. Let's exchange playlist of the top songs 2022. Shall I show you what my top songs were on Spotify Wrapped? It's because it's such a long slideshow, you know? It's like, it takes super long to like. Oh, your top songs. Okay, I took a screenshot. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to go for a few minutes. My sister got home from work and was asking for plasters because she burnt half her fingers. Where does your sister work? <laughs> is she okay? Also, don't apologise. Everybody has stuff they have to get off to sometimes. Let me just go through my top songs very quickly. Should I type them in the chat? I'll type them in the chat just so people can like go back for reference. So my first one was Alien Blues by Wunderbar. Slay. Oh, I just said Slay and ironically. Never mind. Alien Blues. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Blues by 
Wunderbar. Es war Waggon. Wunderbar. She's a server at weddings, lol. How does she burn herself? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Say it ain't so by Calpurnia. Say it ain't so. Calpurnia. Team Banras, we need more members. No, you do not need more members. Ayo, why did YouTube set the quality automatically to 144p? I have no idea. Carrying out trays or something. Oh, sometimes I have to carry hot trays and I nearly burn my hands, but I'm really careful with that. I, I usually put like a cold tray underneath just to make sure. Let's recruit some. No, do not recruit some. Love like mine by Stella Cole. Love like mine by Stella Cole. Do, do, do. Uh, Mary on a Cross by Ghost. Oh, I love that song so much. Mary on a Cross by... Do you know what I've really recently got into? Funk music. Especially when I'm running. Such good... Such... Such good genre. By Ghost. Um, and then the last song. You spin me right... Yeah. Okay, I've typed up my top Spotify wrapped songs and I've just randomly put them in the comment section. This is my different account, by the way. I have a few different accounts. Did you know something? Sometimes I use my accounts to comment on my videos to boost the engagement. Here we go, guys. I'm giving you my secrets here. We have the goddess that is Finch. Hell yeah. Finch? Gotta agree. Expose. No, 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 no. This is gonna be really embarrassing, but sometimes people say rude stuff in my comments and I use these alt accounts to argue in my favour. Cause then they cause then it feels like I have other people on my side. <laughs> so I'm exposing myself, I guess. Faith, I have a question. Yeah, Faith. Let's uh let's um answer Bangles question. Caught in 4K. <laughs> oh my god, are we witnessing a proposal? Bangle gets down on one knee. Girl, we will fight for you. Caught in 8K Ultra HD. Why? Well, I won't have to be, I won't have to do, I won't have to continue doing this if you guys, you know, fight for me. <laughs> gets down on one knee. Can you tie my shoe? That was so anticlimactic. What was that? Bomb rocks. I have stage 69 tes testicle cancer. Help me. When I have stage 420 te testicle cancer. So be that. Faith. Of, of course. How thoughtful of you. Are you actually tying their shoelace? Faith. No. Thank you, queen. Bangle. You can't just ask your queen to tie your shoelace. Do you, know, do you know how uncourteous that is of you? I think I pronounced that wrong. Oh, God. Oh, my mum's texting me again. Oh, no. Rosa, please, I can hear you from down here. Oh, no. I'll try to shut up. It's deserved, Rosa, don't worry. feel bad now. I feel really bad. Oh no. I just, I feel so bad for people who are going to like rewatch this live. If they get to this far. Sorry, we will whisper. Oh, thank you, Finch. 
Thank you. That was really thoughtful of you. Let's use our inside voices. Yeah, let's let's use our... I'll just get a bit closer, you know, so I won't have to shout as much. Oh, wow. We're getting kind of a intimate here. Okay, so... You name y forward slash n okay okay yes or no let's put some would you rather questions in here Let's ask as many questions. Like, come on, let's, let's do this thing. Would you rather be chronically underdressed or overdressed? You know, the person in me who hates being cold in winter wants to stay overdressed. But at the same time, I could just stay inside all day, so underdressed. Underdressed, I hate being the centre of attention. Surely, wait, if you went out in winter and you were just wearing like, I don't know, shorts and like a crop top or whatever, wouldn't that make you the centre of attention? Just um, curiosity. I don't know. Overdressed because you might look really cool. You could look, oh, my friend always wears all these cool layers and she's really good at like putting outfits together. Faith, you're short. Faith, as your FBI agent, I never realised how short you were. Wow. Overdressed all the way if I could. Fresh looking suit to order at McDonald's. <sighs> no, that, that reminds me of, you know, like when people would wear suits to the Minions movie. The Despicable Me 3. What a vibe, Von Riz. That seems like such a cool thing to do. I would do that. Hi. Hi, Dazed Angel. Like your like your profile picture. <laughs> Finch, you grew half a centimetre last month. I'm so proud of you. Faith, we need your help recruiting. Bangle. My dude. This is not okay. Next one, would you rather lose your sight or your memories? <laughs> oh, my memories. I can't lie, my memories. I'd be too scared of like not being able to see stuff. I could just make more memories, right? But it's gonna be a while until laser eye surgery gets good enough to bring your sight back, you know? Sigh. Oh, you mean sight, right. Oh, I really need the toilet. Do you know what? Do you think if I go to the toilet very quickly, I can stay on this live, like, as soon as I come back? Because I really need the toilet, you know? Because I really need the toilet, but I want to stay on the live. So if I go, like, really quickly, can you guys just, like... You guys can, like, talk in the comments and stuff, but I really need the toilet. I just got some memories I don't want to remember anyway. Oh, yeah, imagine having, like, a clean slate. That would be nice. Anyway, I really need to... Go to the toilet. So bad. Do you know what? I'm gonna go to the toilet. Um, while she's gone, we will take over. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm sorry. I, do, I really need to. I'll be back in like five minutes. Well, less than five minutes.
week. Haha, <laughs> I'm back. Okay, what did I miss? Let me just um rewind. Okay, I missed a lot, apparently. Um You guys are so mean. Would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago or an average person today? An average person today. I would have died young or something. We all would have died young. I cannot lie, I cannot lie. I'm just gonna pick this in the bin. Faith, I made cookies. Did you make cookies for Faith? That's kind of um that's kind of sweet. That's kind of I ship you two. Oh no, my phone battery's at 20%. What am I gonna do? You're basically making like some kind of a video game script down here. Devours. Oh my God, why won't my hair stay on my face? No, I'm enjoying this. Keep going, keep going. I said keep going. Oh, it's the time lag, isn't it? Hands them, devours. How dare you? Those were my wives. Wait, were the cookies your wives? Can I get another batch, bro? Okay. What kind of a what kind of an exchange is going on here? I want some. Prizing cookie. I have multiple wives. Oh. How should I do this? No, the cookies were for Faith. Dang it. Bangle, do you have a, a little something to say to Faith? I ship you too. I have too many wives. No, random person, I feel you. I have four wives right now. Gets really tiring catering to all of their um needs. Would you rather die in twenty years with no regrets or live to a hundred with a lot of regrets? Um, live to a hundred with a lot of regrets because I feel like you can still live a good life even if you have regrets. But I don't know. Everyone gets cookies. Already said. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies. Bangle is my only king though. I'll make you cookies though. Nah, I ship you guys. 20 years, no regrets. Oh, thanks, Chad wifey. Oh, you didn't have to say that. We could have gone our whole lives without you saying that. And now we have to hear, thanks, Chad wifey. Another 20 years, no regrets. hundred percent 
Cause I, I don't know, I still feel like you can live. No, because I still feel like you can live a good life. Even if you have regrets. Like, I have, I have many regrets, but I'm still, like, I still feel alright, you know? This one question here, LMAO. Would you rather have skin that changes colour based on your emotions or tattoos that appear all over your body depicting what you did yesterday? Oh, God. Oh, it would be really embarrassing if you were, like, thinking about something dodgy in class and then your skin just turned, like, I don't even know, red. Colour changing skin, tattoos, skin that changes, in my opinion I want to be a comedian. Imagine it includes the deed. And that's what I was thinking. Colour changing skin sounds sick. Oh god, maybe I could be pink or wifey I made. The thing is, you need to you need to make sure nobody else knows like what colour correlates to what emotion. So I would probably pick the skin colour thing though. I didn't need to picture that scenario girl. No, I was just thinking like if your skin just turned like something you know what i mean bangle you said wifey i use wifey i call all of my girlfriends wifey we are basically wives i could be brown i could be blue that was an accident sorry no it's fine hi just looks like you put a little kiss i could be violet sky i could be brown i could be blue i could be sky i could be oh my god eats cookies with love i could be hurtful i could be purple i could be hurtful i could be purple anything you like sing Bangle faith xx we can all be purple just a quick question what emotion does purple correlate to fear we're all scared i mean why does your hair look fluffy rosa it's really dry my hair's actually really dry, so it looks fluffy because of that. It also is quite fluffy in general. That's just inside out though, LMAO. Oh yeah, like fear, yeah. Would you rather solve world hunger or global warming? Oh, that's so annoying. World hunger though, actually, world hunger. Because I feel like, why do I feel like humans, gonna, humans are gonna eventually kill themselves off anyway? I don't know. I actually don't know. World hunger, global warming. Well, those are three very different answers. <sighs> nah, embarrassed is purple. But what? Are, but what are we embarrassed for? I'm a, I'm in a constant state of embarrassment because I feel like every single action I do will be will be considered embarrassing to someone. So therefore, I'm always embarrassed. So. World hunger. Oh, you picked world hunger. Yeah, I'm gonna pick world hunger. Just because I feel like if world hunger was solved, it would increase people's happiness at the moment. But at the same time, I don't know. It's actually really hard, but at the same time, I feel like global warming, it's gonna... Okay, here's the thing. It, global warming is actually a very natural thing, but it's, it's actually... Okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but I definitely would go with world hunger. Oh, you're still embarrassed about splitting your trousers. Bangle, it's okay. I can see as your FBI agent, as your FBI agent now, you're not... Your trousers aren't split at the moment, which means you've learnt from your past mistakes, which is actually a very good thing. <laughs> is it just my audio that keeps cutting out? Or oh no, I hope it isn't cutting out. I split my leggings in dancing the other day. Oh god, Finch, you okay, my dude? It was stressful. It sounds stressful. Would you rather live in a treehouse or in a cave? Treehouse. Treehouse. That would be kind of cool. But a cave? I don't know. I feel like saying, I live in a cave. Just doesn't radiate the same energy as, I live in a treehouse, you know? I'm a recluse. Well, that makes sense. Faith. It's okay, wifey. I'll cover you.
thank you thank you my love <laughs> this little comment romance it's kind of funny it's kind of cute but what if it's bat cave or a mad scientist cave Ooh. i still feel i don't know I feel like a lot of these questions are hypothetical, so it could be like, but what if, but what if, you know? So it's kind of hard to just say, to just go with one because it could, could because there's always like a chance you could be like, but what if this was like this, or what if that was like that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Still, still treehouse. What dance did you do to rip your leggings? Yeah, I'm also quite curious. <laughs> to be fair, I used to want to run away to this little cave by the sea where I live and have a pet cat. Catch fish. Just live there forever. That sounds like a really cute little, cute little dream. I always thought leggings were durable. They're supposed to be, but sometimes they're just not durable enough. I was doing the rumba and I guess I just dropped too low. <laughs> they're cheap primary ones to be fair. Oh yeah. Would you rather spend a year entirely alone or a year without a home? A year entirely alone, because I like my home. Well, I like homes. And then, when I go back into society, it would feel, I don't know, like a crazy new experience. I feel like it would be kind of cool to, like, rebuild friendships and stuff. I don't know. I was commando when I split mine, though. Jeez. Alone. Alone, so, alone, so, ugh, alone sounds so comfy. Like a dream. And I've been homeless already, so not fun. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah. I agree. Alone, I have a low social batteries anyway. Isn't it just bits basically like introvert, but exaggerated? If an introvert wasn't forced to go out and socialise with other people. Wasn't forced to go out and socialise with... Oh, I can't speak, oh my god. No, my hair, it's broken. Do you know what I've always wanted to do? COVID, the best thing ever for introverts, yeah. I've always wanted to do this thing. Can you guys try and comment really cringy or, co or chronically online things so I can read them out in like the weirdest voice? It's okay, wifey, we will split our garments together. <laughs> it was. Could go out buying groceries without people being on the streets. Or we can live in embarrassment together. No, seriously, like, if you can come up with chronically online things, that'd be great. Cause you know when you want to say something? You know when you want to say something that's, like, weird, but I need an excuse to say it? Um, how do I be cringe? Just be yourself, on I'm joking. Um, feel the breeze together and burn the left side of Rose's clothing. Not the left side of my clothing, please, that's my favourite side. How do you be cringe? That's a very good question. Shots fired. Oh my god. I think... No, no, I just... It's not the ring. The ring can't smell like my... I just got, I just got like, a smell that smelled like my... Like my girlfriend. Oh, so, wait, sorry. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty cringe. Do you know what do you know what the worst thing is? Me and my friends, we used to joke about it and say it ironically, and now we've started saying it unironically. That's a vibe. We say that unironically too. No, the thing is, it's really bad because we used to make fun of people who said that and we and we used to use it ironically, but it turned into unironically. And it's so annoying. No same. Fluffy hair all the time. We used to be such bullies. Oh, I'm still a bully. Can I bully you guys? Um, I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you. And become the bullied. No, no, same, same, seriously. Floofy hair. Look how f 
it's kind of dry. Bully away. What kind of a name is Finch? What kind of a name is... What kind of a name is any of your names? I don't, I don't really know how to bully people. How do you bully people? Um, okay. Um... Spaghetti hair. I feel like my hair is more hay, because hay is really dry. So that's quite great. My name's Oliver. Oh wow, imagine having a name super similar to Olive. Could never be me. Girl, you've got to go for the personality. It hurts more. Oh yeah, because that's something you can't really change about someone, isn't it? I mean, you can, but... Um, okay. Um, random person. I think it's hilarious how... Oh, but if I say that, I do that too. Never mind. Someone touched my spaghetti. My spaghetti. Oh my god, I remember. I just I just had this massive memory. Me, me and my, my wifey, we were walking home from like Morrison's and we were like... I was... We were like talking and I was supposed to be Mario and she was supposed to be Luigi. And it turned into this messed up scenario. Never mind. Hope that was cringe enough. Someone touched my spaghetti. No, that was cringe. That was cringe. That's fine. That's perfect. Oh my god. I'm just getting all these memories now. Memories from like a week ago. They're not even like from a while ago. Wow. Wow. Ow. Oh my god, I just remembered the ultimate cringe. Can I help? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I kind of, do you know what? I might say it. Do a hair flip. Is a hair flip where you, you put your head over and then the hair falls and then you flip it backwards? Is that a hair flip? Or is it like when you do that? I can't remember. Do a barrel roll. What's a barrel roll? Oh yeah, ooh. 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 I'm gonna die. <laughs> I want to divorce. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Say it please for me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. No, I've got it. I'm not, I can't, I'm sorry. The thing is I can do it with my friends but I can't do it here because it's like, I'm leaving a permanent... This is going to be online forever. I was a, I was a re refund for my brains not. I'm so sorry, my king. Let's just be good front. That was kind of rough. You want to refund for your brain cells. No returns. Oh wait, I don't think I did this to you guys. Wait. Pinch, punch, first day of the month, no returns. I don't know if I can live without you, Bangle. Join Barnets. Too many brain cells died. I can't spell anymore. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. You need to stop for a minute. I'm going to bed. It's been done for two hours now. It's too much. Okay. I'll stop it. No. Please. Okay. Imagine having brain cells to begin with. I should probably end this now. <laughs> I feel like I should start these earlier. Because I always end up like finishing. Wait, six.
I've been in this life for three hours again. Dang, I came back at the wrong time, lol. Dazed Angel. Usually I'd say there is no wrong time, but my mum's very angry at me right now, so. I should probably end it. Well, bye. Bye. Mum had to interfere with the physical. That was a physical response. Hope she isn't angry soon, lol. Bye. Me too.